<laughs> hey guys, welcome to the stream, of course. Dude, can I start the stream one time without being muted? <laughs> Impossible challenge. Welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. <laughs> Once it turns to like 4.15 or whatever time I'm uh, starting, like <laughs> I always just see like, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Uh, it feels good to be I'm trying to think. What would be like another meme number? Because I feel like I have done the 11037 one way too many times. <laughs> like what's another meme number? I, I can't think of any. Oh, 999. That's another good one. I'm nine 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 years old. Zero escape from my age. I saw somebody. I think it was Wince. Wince was saying it was the Wensler's birthday. I was like, is that real? I was like, I'm about to Google that. And then I saw somebody else. They did like a he artless pun, which I love that. Okay, so I kind of wanted to do like a pun. I couldn't think of any other like words though that had like he in it that I could do this with. But I was like, it'd be kind of fun for all the titles for the series. Just put like a he in parentheses. You know what I mean? Let me know if you guys come up with any ideas. I'm gonna be thinking throughout the Let's Play. I was gonna try to put like, let's do like he happening. And that didn't make sense though, because I was gonna do happening. But then I was like, there's no H-E in happening. <laughs> oh man, thank you, Aho girl. Happy 999th birthday. Oh, thank you. Uh, it means so much. It means so much. I'm about to go on a cruise soon too. It's supposed to be like a remodel of the Titanic. I'm looking forward to it so much just to celebrate my birthday. I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> he happy. <laughs> he happy birthday, Weeby. <laughs> Thank you. No, Wentz, I haven't seen it yet. I'll have to double check. I haven't been on Twitter uh, too much. I saw you were asking about the Ace Attorney, some Ace Attorney stuff you sent. I uh, haven't been on there in a little bit, or I've been kind of like not on Twitter that much. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited. We're about to meet the mascot, I think. I feel like this episode is going to be considerably shorter than the other one. It's only like three uh, episodes to look through. But um, thank you, Bree. Let me pin your message. Man, why is there not? There needs to be more words with he in it. I'm literally going to be thinking about that the whole stream. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get started. And let me know if the music is good. I should have tested this more before I started. Yes, this is really live. Oh, it's quiet. Okay. Whoa, the announcement startled me at first. Hey. About damn time our kidnappers spoke up. Who's there? Show yourselves. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, you wish. That's unlikely. Let me... Though our kidnappers wouldn't ambush us, barricade us every exit and keep us trapped here. Just to let us go after a couple of hours. I agree with Mr. Minamoto. But then, doesn't that mean they gathered us at the auditorium to do, to do something bad to us? Stay positive. If they wanted to hurt us, they would have done so by now. Maybe they just want to explain the reason behind this hostage situation. I'm trying to remember everybody's birthday. Not birthdays. <laughs> Gotta just keep reading birthday in the chat. It just is coming. The killing game makes headway. He headway. Oh, I like that. I like that, Bahamut. Oh, Baha, yeah, Bahamut. I was like making sure I said it right. I like that. I'm going to keep that one in mind for, for the title. Thank you, Jay Ray. Hey, Weeby. It's been a long time since I have been able to watch a stream, but I'm finally able to watch this one, and I'm excited to get into this. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate you for stopping by. Glad you made it. And thank you, best boy. My first time joining your live stream. Woo, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. And thank you for uh, your first, first super chat, too. Love it. Thanks for, thanks for the support. But uh, I'll try to remember everybody's voices, too. I didn't really have a chance to look through everything before I started. But just remind me if, if I forget. If they wouldn't hurt us, they would have done so by now. Maybe they just want to explain the reason behind this hostage situation. Oh, yeah, that's it. They just want to explain it. That's that's definitely, definitely the reason. Hostage Seriously? situation. There's no good reason for a hostage situation, dumbass. It if it looks like things are getting dangerous, just get behind me. I really want to go home already. Don't worry, I'm sure they have a perfectly good explanation for, for kidnapping us and locking us in here. Uh, thank you, someone unknown. Who does everyone simp for the most? They should be, they should be simping for my boy, Tameo. <laughs> or why do you say this, Tameo? God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna always call him Tameo now. T Tamo Tamoya, 
to Moya. He's the best boy. I feel like it might be the doctor guy put in the thumbnail, though. He's, uh, he's very good looking. <laughs> he's very good looking, but I'm not really sure. I guess everybody in the chat can uh, say, too. I don't really think I simp for anybody so far, to be honest. I do like to... To, to Moya the best, but I feel like it's mostly because I can, like, relate to him, you know what I mean? And he's just funny. It's okay, body, we all do. Let's be patient and see what they've got to say. Uh, can they hurry up? I'm falling asleep again. Can somebody wake me up when something interesting happens? <laughs> Should you really be sleeping in a time like this? Not like I'm doing it on purpose, yawn. I guess she really might have, like, what's it called? Like, necolepsy or narcolepsy? I don't know. <laughs> Words are hard. Oh, my God, not the tomatoes in chat. Um, everyone's making a fuss about. It's just time for the ceremony, isn't it? Ooh, I've been waiting to get my award. This isn't the ceremony. Each of us already received our certificates when we woke up, dumbass. I was wondering what she was talking about. Oh dear, Molly wonders what's really going on then. Think, don't think. Yeah, this gives me the creeps. Narcolepsy. <laughs> it's like trying to remember the, the name for it. The announcement told us we they'd give, be giving us some more details here, right? Where are they anyways? We're waiting. Come out. Get the hey. fuck out of here. Oi, sh hurry up already. Don't chime in with your puppets, kids. Speak up yourself. Aw, don't be mean to Kiyoshi. Around and around in this dance, I'm calling you. Uh, singing isn't helping me relax. Um. But your voice is quite beautiful, Miss Yoshida. Oh, um, thank you. Uh. Oh, they're taking their sweet time. I wonder. Hey, uh, what? Even the Ryuji voice. That the Ryuji voice. That's what it was. Hey, Kira, what do you think is gonna happen now? I don't really know either. I'm just waiting for more information like the others. It shouldn't be long now. I feel like I'm getting canceled with all these tomatoes in chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I just have a bad feeling about this. Excuse me. Sorry about the delay. Oh, hey. No they're, the, they're here. It. Who said that? It's the voice in the announcements. All right. Are we finally figuring out what's going on? If you could please direct your attention over here. Um... Where they sound like a kid. Uh, we can't see you, dingus. It's like a little robot kid at the ending. To the stage. Like the ending credits. I think it'll probably probably be him. Thank you, uh, Connor Nolan. Petition for Weeby to make her own fan gan. You know, I've been gosh, I've had like a video idea for a while where I like try to make a fan gan in like 24 hours. I need to I need to do that, but. <laughs> I had a few ideas of how, well, it's probably not going to be very good. That's kind of the point of the video, I guess, too, is just to see how meme it could be for me to try to make one super quickly. But that's an idea I've been sitting on for quite a while. So believe me, I got I got some ideas. Sooner or later, you'll see, uh, you'll see a fan gan from me. It may not be very good, but you'll see one. Thank you, David. Today, a woman knocked on my door and asked for a small donation towards the local swimming pool. So I gave her a glass of water. I love supporting the community. <laughs> wow, that's so generous of you, David. God, I hope it wasn't more than eight ounces. I mean, that's just too much. Too much. Thank you for the donation, though. Appreciate you. But yeah, I'm glad you guys see seem to like that idea. It seems like it would be a fun idea. And yeah, I know the voices are a little too quiet. I'm trying to raise them up. I think it should hopefully be good now. We all look expectantly towards the auditorium stage and... I keep adjusting it though. Eh. Oh, I know we're there. Oh, it is you. You're like a little robot or something. <laughs> kind of funny if they start complaining about like robophobia. <laughs> Why do you guys hate me? It's just because just I'm a robot. It's like, no, it's because you trapped us in a killing game. No, it's, it's the robot thing. Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay, that looks better, I think. Super it's a cute. child. Ah, oh, he's kind of cute. Can I pat him? That's clearly not a human child. What? <laughs> see what? But he looks just like one. Uh. Oh, can't you see the legs, the metal joints everywhere? Is it a robot? <laughs> Hi to my bunny suit. Welcome to EOS Institute's ultimate award ceremony. My name is Ko, and I am the organizer for this prestigious event. Okay. Ah, uh, it's kind of cute. Ah, <laughs> oh, really? As a robot? What? 
How <laughs> how bad can he be? <laughs> get it? <laughs> get it? A, a what now? Oh, great. There's machines that look like humans. Fucking creepy. No Why do I kind of feel like, um, also, what are their pronouns? Do they have pronouns? I, I can't totally tell, but, uh, I wanted to say how bad could he be just because, <laughs> just because of one slur. But, okay, it seems like everybody's saying he in chat, so it's probably good. Thank you, Bree. Wow, I've been in the server for almost a year. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you being on the server and, uh, being a, being a great mod and friend, too. But, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I kind of feel like he's, like, maybe, like, part human? I guess we'll see, but I feel like his legs look way more robotic than, like, his, uh, face, you know what I mean? Duh. Well, it's right in front of us, so yeah. That's enough! Cease this pointless, pointless chatter! Now that the perpetrator has shown itself, I demand answers! Are you sure? How are you so sure this boy is the perpetrator? The true culprit might not have even revealed himself yet. Please wait a moment. Mr. Marashita is correct. Please allow me a moment to explain. Oh, he's so cute. I'm the messenger for the one who is keeping you here. Ah, uh, see, he hasn't done anything wrong. It's a good boy. And who might that be? Um, I can't tell you that just yet. Explain <laughs> yourself. Just one moment. You also said that you were the organizer of the ultimate award ceremony, yes? What? Oh, wait. I feel like I gave her kind of a, like a... Uppity voice. Oh, that's what it was. I remember hers kind of changed. Thank you, Twy. Gosh, being a member for 23 months. Dang. Hi, Weeby. What's your thoughts on show so far? And who's your favorite alongside Tamoya? I feel like I'm not super good at everybody's names. Oh, wait. Cho, is she like the idol girl? I'm also just trying to think. Like, who would Twy's favorite be? She seems sweet, though, if I'm thinking of the right character. Um, I'm also, yeah, really um, interested in this girl, Izanami, just because she seems pretty... Uh, I don't know, sus so far? You know what I mean? Like, she definitely seems like she's kind of, she has a lot of knowledge, I guess, on, like, who the main girl kind of is. I like the main girl, though, too. She's pretty, pretty good so far, too. But, yeah, I like everybody so far. But, uh, thank you for being a member for so long. Almost two years. It's crazy. Would it not mean that it's the EOS Institute itself keeping us trapped here? It's, like, just a girl Mikado voice. Well, no, it's a little difficult to explain. He's got, he's got bullets on his pants. <laughs> you see, I am the ceremony organizer, but just as the convention center was hijacked, so is my programming. I'm a victim, too. Ah. Uh, but if you're aware of the fact that you were hijacked, why are you still just going along with it? No more questions. That is it, also difficult to explain. <laughs> I'll pose. <laughs> Look at how cute I am. I can do it. <laughs> Look at how cute I am. How bad could I be? Okay, go into detail about the logistics of the programming and the laws regulating the behavior of artificial intelligence. But I am not sure any of you would be able to comprehend it, <laughs> dumbasses. These are the rules. Simply put, I was originally part of EOS's ownership, but now I am overseeing your kidnapper's game. That's just the way it is. <laughs> like I said, no more fucking questions. I have no clue what you just said. I think he just called us dumb. Well, he's right because I understood none of that. I understood that you're trying to make excuses, huh? Huh? Uh, Hold on, what's going, what's this game you mentioned? I apologize. I asked the game. Forgive me for what I'm about to announce. <laughs> A little like blush almost. I don't like violence either, but this is the will of the mastermind. Please understand. Violence? I don't like the sound of this, Akira. Hold me. First of all, I would like to congratulate you all for your hard work and dedication that earned you your ultimate talents. This is not an easy feat. <laughs> and also, you're about to kill each other. You're all invited to the ceremony to receive your awards and proceed to partake in a game. You may not leave this building for the rest of your lives. Unless... What? Ah. Excuse me? Excuse me, is this a joke? I you guys are in Danganronpa, baby! What makes you think you can keep us trapped here forever? Once again, this is just a statement that I have received from your kidnapper. Chill, those cowards don't want to show themselves, huh? But what, 
What would you actually achieve by keeping us here? Well, simply keeping us locked in a building wouldn't be an entertaining game. Didn't you mention violence? <laughs> yeah, he looks so sad explaining all this. I've got a bad feeling about this. Maybe he's not just coming up with excuses. Maybe he is really sad. You'll be trapped in this convention center indefinitely. But should you choose to leave, there is one way to get out. Get out, out, out. You must kill someone. Yep. Oh, what in the Danganronpa? What? What? Uh, what? Ah, uh, uh, kill someone? No, that's... Uh, what? What's wrong with you? Why would you want us to do something like that? I don't want to. Not to them. Everybody's so That's nice. Besides that doctor guy. Don't you think this has gone too far? These are the rules. I'm sorry, but those are the rules. If you want to leave this place, you must commit murder. Shall we? This is messed up. This is all kinds of fucked up. I won't stand for this. And why the hell would we do that to each other? There's got to be another way out. <laughs> you can try. I apologize. I'm afraid there isn't, and I wouldn't advise you to try to force your way out either. It's for your own safety. Remember the guns? Yeah, and I got lots of bullets to restock them with. You can just look at my pants. Safety? You just told us you want to kill each us to kill each other, and now you're worried about our safety? Please, don't understand. I don't want anybody getting hurt. Your kidnapper does. Eat shit. I feel like he is being legit with like feeling bad, but I just can't with that sprite. The I'm sorry, guys. Oh, this is my model pose. Somebody get somebody get a camera out. You sound like you're full of shit. I know it's hard to believe me. Frankly, I'd recommend you all just accustom yourselves to life in this convention center and avoid any sort of bloodshed. Come on, guys. We got sushi. How and a foolish. swimming pool. We will neither commit murder, nor right. stay here forever. That's right. Um, there must be a third option, right? Ooh, it's kind of a creepy so. sprite. What else? What else do we have to... What else must we do after we commit what? murder? I love how she's just like... Okay, cool. I've, I've read the terms, so what else? It can't be that easy. I'm not going to Leon myself in this game. <laughs> Explain the rest of the rules. Thank you, in our China 20 rows. Hey, Weeby, can't stay long work. I saw the video with the voices. Can't wait to see it. Based on looks, I love the girl with the Celestial Zodiac dress outfit. Also, Ko, calling the starry dress <laughs> my GF. I love her, too. Is a, is a Yanni? Is a, ah, I'm so bad with the names. I like her, too, though. She's probably, like, my second favorite. After, uh, after Timayo. <laughs> Tamoya. I know, I know his name. I know his name. Uh, he's, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I could do like, he is revealed for the title, and then put the he in parentheses. Ah, it fits. It fits. God, don't tell me you're actually considering it. <laughs> Why not? What's wrong with that? Absolutely not. I just find the situation suspicious. <laughs> Wink. I see you winking. I'm not winking. It's a twitch. It's an eye twitch. I have a feeling there's more to this absurd game than simply murder. That is correct. Well, Miss Hoshimiya is correct. Huh? There's more? You just don't... You don't just have to kill somebody. You also have to get away with it. This is messed up. This is nuts. We'll never give in. But we won't kill each other, so that's enough. Isn't that... I'm trying to think. I feel like there was, like, a character... Well, I'll never give in or something. Was there, like, a character who says that? You know what I'm thinking? I think I'm thinking of Blaze's old, like outro. <laughs> I think they had like a character who said that in their like outro for their videos. I don't think it's a Danganronpa character though. I was trying to see if my maybe was referencing something. True, but it also doesn't hurt to get more information, does it? Well, it, no, but let's just hear the rest of the rules, shall we? They might be fun. Come on. How are you all so calm? As you will be living together in this building indefinitely, you will have plenty of chances to attack somebody and kill them. You must not leave any traces that it was you, because once three or more people discover a corpse, a body discovery announcement will inform the rest of the surviving participants that a murder has taken place. Afterward, you'll be given a specific period of time to investigate the murder and collect clues. Once that time is up, you will head to the trial grounds to participate in a class trial. 
What's... what's a class trial? At a class trial, you will discuss the murder and argue your points in order to pin down who the killer is. At the I do like his voice a lot, too. His voice is really cute. After the discussion, you will cast your votes on who you think the culprit is, and I will announce whether you have selected the right one or not. It is kind of interesting, too, to have a mascot that seems like, uh, so, uh, not into the whole killing game thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because usually all the mascots we've seen in, like, every other fangan or canon Danganronpa, it's like, you know, a Monokuma-type character is like, I love death! It's kind of interesting to see one, you know, a mascot who's like, I'm kind of here against my own will, too, guys. Sorry. If you get it right, the culprit, who will henceforth be referred to as the Blackened, will solely be punished. If you get it wrong, the Blackened will be allowed to leave the convention center while the remaining participants will be punished. That is all. My head hurts. I kind of want to give Ray a country accent. I can't remember if I did that before. Just a little one, just a little, just a little. Isn't she, she's from the country, y'all. This is a lot to take in. Like a higher pitch, not like a Karen voice. Why should we be punished if we get the culprit wrong? It's not like we killed anyone. Also, I was thinking too, rules. I was like, so he's like a robot, right? So I don't think there's anybody in the killing game. I'm trying to remember the talents. If anybody would seem automatically suspicious by like the fact that there's like a robot. Because I feel like just um, thinking like, you know, like your first assumption I feel like would be like, oh, a robot is like the mascot. Therefore, it'd probably be somebody with like, you know, an ultimate inventor talent or something like that. I can't remember if anybody really had like a talent like that though. I feel like the closest thing was like um, the the bunny girl. She was like a video game developer, but I don't think she really worked too much with like AI. But she would at least do coding for like video games. But I don't think there's anybody like me here that would be like automatically suspicious. You know what I mean? Pardon Those are the me. Ones I can't change them. Pardon me. What's this punishment you're talking about? This punishment is an execution. What? What? <laughs> oh man, they're freaking enough. out. Execution, you're kidding, right? You see. Unfortunately, no. Failure to get away with murder or to find the black and result in your death. This is why I suggest you get used to living here. That way, nobody will get hurt. W wait! Are you crazy? We'll die if we don't find the killer! How cruel. How troublesome. It can't be. You can't do this. It's inhumane. I'm afraid complaining to me won't change anything. I don't want this either. This doesn't make sense. Then why can't you just let us go? You're going too far. That's just how it is, so get used to it. I don't want to die. I don't understand. I just don't get it. We didn't do anything to deserve this. Damn you, you won't get away with this. Listen, I am so shall we. You're in this situation, but there's nothing I can do. I said sorry already. Come on, what more do you want from me? Let me do the cute let me do the cute pose again. Your only two options are to stay here the rest of your lives or kill somebody to leave. That's enough! No, they are not! <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> As he says that, Katsuhiko marches up to the stage towards Ko. Uh oh. Uh, oh no, this don't kill the child! Has gone on for far too long. He said sorry! Come on, look at the little guy. You're not gonna kill him, right? Mr. Minamoto! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm putting an end to this preposterous game before- <laughs> He's like, you're gonna get your ass killed! Minamoto, what are you doing? I'm putting an end to this preposterous game before it even starts. Don't be so reckless. Isn't this a little dangerous? Well, a little. Put me down. Tell me, who is the mastermind? No, the coward behind this charade. It's kind of interesting because I feel like this is the first time like the mascot's like, no, put me down, like, not just for my safety, but literally for your safety, too. Answer me! Uh, I'm a little worried for you, Katsuhiko. <laughs> this doesn't look like it'll end well. Nah, I think this guy's on a something Oh good. my god! <laughs> no, no, let him cook! Let him cook! It would be kind of interesting if somebody actually died from this scene, because, you know, like, uh... I've seen this happen like so many times in like different Danganronpa games or like fan games. And not that I want him to die, but it would be kind of interesting if somebody actually didn't just fucking die from doing this. I guess there was kind of Makuro, but uh. Please stop. Just An be interesting twist. Like you seems quite technologically advanced and complex. Dude, the screen's gonna I shaky. highly doubt there are any spares of you. If I destroy you right now, the mastermind will have no other choice. 
but to show themselves. That is true. It's not like the Monokumas where there's like 50, 500 of them in waiting. Stop! I can't... I know it's an android, but you really shouldn't do this. He looks like he's in pain. It doesn't feel pain. Oh, well, man. if you don't want me to crush your circuit, answer my question. Who are you working for? Who's behind this game? It hurts. Oh man, it's the electrical it's it's like electrocute him or something. I think you should stop. Yes. Please stop. Oh god. Who's the master. The boy's about to slay. <laughs> oh shit. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. I like Ko. I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad, dude. Now do you believe Ko doesn't jive with this? Well, he just, he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Come on. Come on. He can't do nothing wrong. Thank you, Fallen Redditor, for the donation. Katsuka drops Ko, and the android falls to the floor with a thud. With one last twitch of its body, it stops moving completely. He kill him? What the fuck? <laughs> Katsuka's like, you thought it was I who was going to die for what? For real, Weeby. But it was actually Ko. All right, guys. Let's get out of here. He died? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I think I was cool with doing the killing game thing. <laughs> what the? Oh my god, that's a little guy. What the fuck? It, what the fuck was that all about? Why did it start screaming like that? He definitely is like part human. What happened? Oh no. The android. It's. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's dead. Dead, it was only a robot, right? It wasn't an actual living being, right? No, yeah, he's definitely like, I feel like he probably is like part human or something. I kind of want him to come out it's like a super like big buff version. It's like, you wouldn't listen to the, the cute model, so maybe you'll listen to the soul one. Get the fuck down and back off. It wasn't an actual living being, right? And yet the sight before me feels like an actual child was murdered right before my eyes. That was... And good going, Katsuhiko. Good fucking going. I know who I'm targeting first. First chapter. Uh, ding dong, bing bong. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting it to... Unexpected. I wasn't... E okay. I wasn't expecting it to scream and struggle like that in its last moments. Um, But that was a bit of a shock. <laughs> a bit of a shock. I don't know if I would have done it. You could have stopped any time while he was screaming. I mean, my hand was stuck. What was I going to do? <laughs> he parentheses killed Ko. I don't understand. How are you so unfazed by that? You idiot. You idiot. That was too rash. Why are you trying to play the hero when all you're gonna do is get hurt? No one is hurt, see? This android has simply been broken. Now the mastermind must show themselves. God, F feel free to thank me anytime. You don't know that. That was really risky, Katsuhiko. All's well that ends well. <laughs> I think we should be fine. Uh, let's get out of here, gang. Shortest Danganronpa game ever. Besides, even if the mastermind won't show up. Damn right. Uh, damn right. This is still a sign from us to those bastards that we're not taking any of their shit without a fight. <laughs> yeah, kill the children. Woo! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, just like, just like my great grandpa before me, Kutaro. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love ya. Love you, man. My, he's just he's just a Kutaro kitty. He can't help it. That's that's what this is all about, you know? You know what? I agree. I thought it was a bad idea at first, but I think you did the right thing. Where are some more children? Let's kill them, too. It's just really unsettling because Ko had the appearance of a child. He was, like, screaming and bleeding and stuff. You must realize that it was an android with no feelings, and it wanted us to kill each other. It wasn't an innocent child. It's kind of ironic, the first mascot that I feel like isn't completely complicit is the one that they were like, <laughs> let's murder him! And it actually works. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm glad you got rid of that junk. It, it's just... So, that was horrible to watch. <sighs> yes, but I believe it had to be done, unfortunately. Um... Either way, what's done is done. What do we do now? Do we wait for the mastermind to show up? I hope Ko comes back with a fucking vengeance. I guess so. May I propose a different idea? We're all aware that the only exit out of this place is the main entrance, yes? But it's barricaded and there's, a mach there's machine guns above it. I'm aware, which is exactly why I'm suggesting this plan. 
I believe it may be possible to break down the entrance through sheer force. Uh, um, are you serious? Well, speaking from experience, I know it's true. But what about the guns? <laughs> I think we're forgetting that part. I suppose it's worth a shot. But the guns will get killed before we can even approach the door. Not exactly. Not unless we have a shield. A, a meat shield! Mm. Where are we gonna get a shield durable enough to cover us from gunfire? Izanami gestured towards the motionless co. Oh, hell no. Hell no. What the? No, 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 no. They are just disrespecting the little guy so bad right now. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Isn't that we gestured towards the motionless co? And that thing is mostly made of metal, correct? Lightweight enough to carry, but strong enough to withstand projectiles. You can't be serious. You want to use Ko as a shield? You fucking bitch! It's not like there's much else for us to, to, most else to use for a broken robot. Okay, now that's robophobic, you know? I might not know much about robophobia, but I know that sounds fucking robophobic. All right. Um, it sounds like a plan to me. You've got to be kidding me! Hold on a second. This is way too risky. Ko's body can't cover us all. Actually. True, but it could cover one person. Uh? You're seriously okay with this, Akira? Don't you realize how insane this plan is? Look, I don't like the plan either, but we don't have many options. <laughs> no respect. No respect for my boy, Ko. Even so, there's no guarantee it'll keep us safe. I mean, is anyone even willing to bust down the door with Ko? Damn right. A damn right, I'll do it. How is Ko gonna cover his to whole me. body? He's huge. Same here. I know it can't even be fatal. I know it can even be fatal, but it's something I'm willing to do to protect everyone. Uh, uh, are you fucking delusional? You don't know what you're talking you're about? In some movie where you can just rush on into danger and come out unscathed, you'll die. Just so what? That's a risk I'm willing to take if it gets all of us out of here. But... But, but, there, there's gotta be a better way. See, Tomoya, he's just trying to- He's trying to protect my boy, Ko, as he should. Thank you, Brian Ford. Kibo would hate this kid. Dude, Kibo is screaming, crying, and throwing up right now watching this. So he is so upset. Agreed, I'm not willing to risk somebody's life for a slim chance of escape. Nobody's even defending him anymore. Takeshi, Hideyoshi, even if you're okay with this, Trust we don't me. want you to get hurt. Nobody wants to get hurt. Besides, don't underestimate me. I'm not a dumbass. I wouldn't be down with this plan unless I was absolutely sure I could bust down the door. <laughs> Smile's kind of interesting. I have faith in myself, so you better believe in me too. <sighs> if you can put it that way. But you have to promise you'll be careful and turn back the moment it gets too dangerous. Oh no. There's a difference between confidence and recklessness. Well, if you don't like the idea, does anybody have any other, any better suggestions? Is there any other children I can murder? I don't know, why don't we just stay put and wait for people from the outside to like rescue us or something? Come on! Yeah, we can wait a bit longer instead of throwing ourselves into danger right away. Yeah, for real. I don't know if anybody's coming to get us. Instead of relying on people who might never show up, listen, bust out ourselves! I kind of feel like I would be I with Jimmy know. and Tamoya. Uh, what did he say? I don't know. I'm still quite unsure. Um. <sighs> but if there really is no other choice. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on, but I want to take the route that gets us out of here sooner. Yeehaw. That is so true, Ray. Let me handle this. Let's make things easy. If you think we should attempt to break down the door, raise your hand. We'll do whatever the majority says. Oh my god, we're having a majority vote? And you killed some children? Ah, uh, the biggest Kutaro Kenny have ever seen. None of us raise our hands, including our, myself. <laughs> Tomoya's gonna be what? like, what the fuck? You too, Shion. I know, I know, but- You idiot! Don't be stupid, you're gonna get yourselves killed. I'm not fond of this idea, but unfortunately a majority says otherwise. Uh... I have seri- I have a seriously bad feeling about this. Uh, it's not too late to back out, you know? Trust me. We'll be fine, trust what? me! It's been decided! Yamamoto, bring that <laughs> This is so fucked up. <laughs> 
Everyone, let's head to the main entrance. Oh god, this is totally gonna backfire. No. Please, curse her out, Tamoya. Somebody's gonna talk sense into this cast. What's the matter? What's the I'm matter? I'm not excited <laughs> about the idea, but no one else is either. Still, it's the best shot we've gotten escaping this place. Can we wait like 10 I, minutes, though? I know, but... I... I... Tamoya's become such a stammering mess. Why does this plan terrify him so much? Hmm. On a serious note, I feel pretty uneasy around around these guns. Oh, he's got like some trauma with the guns. Oh, I was trying to think too. I was like, he doesn't know like, you know, what's going on, right? But, hmm, interesting, interesting. Huh, oh, unfortunately, despite his fear, we have to carry out this plan. His dad was like a cop or something too, so I guess he could have been around when he had like, his dad had to shoot someone or something like that, maybe. The most I can do is stay by his side to calm him down. Hey. Hey. It's gonna be Aww. fine, all right? No, no, it won't. Oh, no. no, someone's gonna die. No one's gonna die at the door. Trust me. I... Oh, to if you feel uncomfortable, you don't need to head to the main entrance. She's so nice. Oh my god, her voice is so like comforting and like smooth too. Poor guy. I gently hold his hand. Hey, that's gonna be okay. I hey, promise. You don't have to go, buddy. If you don't. <laughs> You don't want to. Akira. Uh, I'll go. I'll be with you the whole time. All right? Poor guy. <laughs> okay. So I lead Tomoya towards the door and we make our way to the main entrance. Entrance. Oh my god, that girl. <laughs> Almost what? forgot about you for a second, girly. It's time, everyone. Hide Yamamoto. The rest is up to you. Leave it to me. I got this. I'll grab the android and rush towards the door. No, let me handle it. Hey, you sure? You gotta take care of yourself. Somebody's gonna stand by and protect the others in case things go south. But I... Alright. You can count on me Be for careful. that. Everyone else, stand back. We have the door. The rest of us take a few steps back. Takeshi lifts up Ko's body. And charges towards the door. Oh god. This is gonna go so bad. This is not gonna be good. The machine guns roar to life and begin firing at Takeshi. Jesus Christ! Almost, I almost close my eyes, bracing for the worst. But he skillfully blocks every shot using Ko as a shield. The gunfire! Uh, it's so loud! Damn, that shit's going off! Stay back, everyone! Takeshi's got this! No, no, oh, no, no, no! no. no. Not this noise! Not again! Poor guy. Tomoya, stay with me. It's okay. He just needs to go into another room. Make it stop! Make it stop! Tomoya! I hold Tomoya's hand tightly, calming him down. His heavy breathing slowly stops, but the dull look in his eye remains. Jesus. Kira. It's working? You can do it, man! Just a little further. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god, it actually worked! With one last mighty crash, the gunfire comes to a stop as the door bursts open. It worked! The door's open! We're totally like a V3 bubble kind of thing, right? Oh, man. I can't believe we did it! Takeshi, are you injured anywhere? <laughs> Not a single scratch. All right, everyone, let's get out of here! Finally! I'm sick of this place. We're actually out! <laughs> That's what you think. I feel like it's totally gonna be like a dome, just like V3. But as soon as we have a taste for freedom. Hey! They broke down the oh, door! Oh shit, nope! Get them! Oh, okay, they're just waiting for us! Um, huh? What uh, the? Uh oh. What? Huh? Stop that! No! Stop hurting them! Help! Oh my god. It's snatched away from us again. Oh, they just kidnapped us again! <laughs> We're gonna put you in a new conference room! With even more statues of that girl! Dang, We what? will be together forever, right? You'll continue to look after me. And when I grow up, I want you to be proud of me. Huh. Hello? Uh, am I... Is it Tomoya's perspective now? It kind of seemed like 
You'll continue to look after me when I grow up. I want you to be proud of me. Was that him as like a child or something? We switch pro tags? We will be together forever, right? You'll continue to look after me. And when I grow up, I want you to be proud of me. Kind of seems like it. Talking to his dad, maybe, or something? Hello? What happened just now? We broke down the door and we escaped, didn't we? Akira? We made it out. Akira, can you hear me? We're free. Akira? Um... Are we him now? Oh, thank God you're okay. I'm so happy you're awake. Huh? I was so worried you got hurt. You were... Well, everyone was knocked out again. No one's heavily injured, thankfully, but... <sighs> huh. Interesting. I'm just glad you're okay, too. What? Here, let me help you get up. Tamoya's voice actor is really good, by the way. Uh... I yeah. feel so dizzy. Okay, maybe it was her thinking. Where did the child thing come from? Was that her as a child, then? Or was it referencing Ko? I'm not really sure. I'm not totally, not totally sure. <laughs> not, not sure what that was trying to imply there. Let me read some donations. I missed a couple of them. Thank you, NR1020 Rose. Back to work. Oh, I haven't watched the first VOD. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the first VOD, too. It's been fun. Thank you, big chunk of Sora. <laughs> no. I heard there was Heartless here. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Sora. This whole freaking cast is Heartless, man. They use Ko as a, like, body shield. <laughs> As a, I guess not like meat shield, but like a half meat, half <laughs> robot shield. They're robophobic. That's all you really need to know. That's all you really need to know. I can understand why I still feel weak too. What happened? Did we break down the entrance and get out? Well, about that. Huh? Huh? There's more barricades now. <laughs> We're gonna add more barricades. Yeah, that was everybody's reaction, to. I had a Seriously? feeling it was going to be something like that. That was all for nothing. We just ended up back here. Oh, my God, Co. Please show up and teach them what's what. Pop off. I might, I might ask, I might say slay, Co. I might say that, maybe. <laughs> I may imply that. If you want to, buddy, I think you, I think you might have the pass. As I thought. Great, all of us got knocked out again, and the door is more heavily fortified. I told you this was a horrible idea. Oh dear. Does that mean we can't escape? Jeez, I think they hit me extra hard this time. My whole body aches. Uh, I thought we'd managed to get out. That was so unexpected. Good art. I wasn't expecting a second ambush. Yeah, me neither. I already told you that escape isn't possible, you fucking dick. Oh my goodness, look at how tiny he is. Oh my goodness, I can't believe. Look at you, look at who you killed. Look at who you killed, Takeshi. Feel bad about yourself. <laughs> You're back, but how? <laughs> you were filled with bullets when we broke through the door. How are you still functional? You see. I have multiple models. You were wrong to assume there was only one of me. <laughs> <laughs> that's impossible! Regardless, I want to avoid any unnecessary risks and injuries, but fortunately, none of you were hurt anyways. Get your revenge, Co. Still, I would advise you not to attempt something like this again. We get it. Don't rub it on our faces. I'm not trying to. I just want you to be safe. Fuck off! You're the one making us kill each other! He's just the messenger! Once again, that's not me. I'm just the, the rules. messenger. Anyways, if you don't believe me before, I hope you believe me now. You can't break your way out of here. You must either stay here forever or kill someone. How cruel. I see. Perhaps you need some time to get accustomed to this. As well, as a place to rest and recuperate. Here, take this. Co hands everyone a key card. I have prepared a room for each of you on the second floor of the hotel. You're free to go there if you would like some time alone with your thoughts. Maybe think about what you've done. Especially you, Takeshi. It may be helpful, especially at times like these. Uh, so we have to stay here? 
We're never going home? I apologize. I'm really but... sorry, everyone. Although it's heartless, he heartless. You don't have any other choice. Is it referring to like Ko being heartless? Because he's a robot? Or is that robophobic? <laughs> but please, don't give in to despair. Are you going to give us hope speeches? That's kind of weird. So we really are stuck here forever. <sighs> I don't want to believe it, but... Oh, yeah. What's with the long faces, everyone? Seriously? We've just been told we're trapped here for the rest of our lives. Of course we'd be frustrated. It's not just that either. We can't forget about that other part. If we want to escape, we need to kill each other. That doesn't mean we should give Let's up. Stay positive. We never harm one another, and we'll definitely get out of this place safely. I disagree. She is so sus, dude. She is the most sus character, in my humble opinion. Well, our escape attempt didn't exactly go as planned. This means that if we try to look for another exit, we would get the same result. So what? There's gotta be another way without getting noticed. We just Seriously? haven't found it yet. <laughs> God, you're way Everything too optimistic. Will be okay. What about it? We all need a little bit of hope at a time like this. She owns right. Oh. And right. not you too. Oh, Jesus, I'm gonna throw up. Uh, thank you, Big Chuck Asora. Don't worry, guys. I'll get that door open. <laughs> Key beam! Thank you, Sora. You're the only one who can save us. The only one. Oh, I'm dead. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate right. it. No, seriously, what's worrying gonna achieve? It's not like we're doing it on purpose. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't about. seem to understand the gravity of the situation. Being blindly optimistic doesn't change the fact someone here could already be planning a murder. Specifically that one girl with like the star dress. It's not being blindly optimistic. It's about having faith in one another. All of us here are ultimates. So I trust you not to commit such foolish, foolish acts like murder. I'm definitely not planning nothing. I say with a knife behind my back. Besides, if anybody dares to be a filthy sinner. Divine punishment will be exacted upon them accordingly. Huh? Divine punishment? No way you can talk to spirits, too, don't yee -haw. Think, Don't think. If there's no way anyone here would think of murder, so let's just not worry about it. Oh, you're so dead, <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah, living here with everyone else doesn't seem too bad, even though I'd rather get out of here. Everyone keeps dancing around the topic of murder easily, agreeing that nobody would consider doing such a thing. However, I'm with you, Mayo. They don't understand how your average person is perfectly able to kill. Yeah, when like pushed against the wall. Survival instincts, baby. Uh, Seriously, you're all too immature. A one hope speech and you all give in immediately? Lame. I know, but I still don't under still doesn't help us to keep thinking about it. Honestly, what we need right now is some time to clear our minds. Alright. Well, you've convinced me. I know I require some time to think about today's events. Why don't we head to our rooms? They're on the second floor of the hotel, like Ko said. We've all had a long day. Let's get some rest. Yeah, alright. He always seems so, like, scared and sad, <laughs> Satoru. I can't believe I gotta spend the night here. I agree. That's a wise idea, Hideyoshi. How about we all reconvene tomorrow at the dining area to discuss our next course of action? She is so sus, too. In the meantime, we can ponder about our situation by ourselves. Whatever. Fine by me. I just want to sleep and pretend like none of this bullshit ever happened. I'm done. I'm leaving then. God. I just hope tomorrow will be better. <laughs> one by one, everyone left the area, looking much more exhausted and despondent than ever. Man, I kind of, I don't know, dude. I feel like we're getting too much screen time with Tomoya. Some of me feels like he's going to be, like, the first victim or something, to be completely honest. Like, we're just getting so much screen time with him, you know what I mean? Are you okay? You don't look too good. I'll be fine. Yes, yeah, alright. I don't know why we're being forced to play a killing game or who's behind all this. 
But I just wish that everything turns out all right. I'm tired of this. I've got too many questions and not enough answers. Oh, whatever. I guess we can talk more about it tomorrow. I'll see you then, Akira. Stay safe. Oh, poor Samoya, dude. He's going through a hard time. I kind of, I don't know, I do feel kind of like he might die first. We're just getting so much screen time with him. I don't know, man. I just feel like that's always a death flag with Duncan Rampa. I'm like, wow, this character is getting fleshed out so much. And then it's like, oh, and now that was why. Because he's about to die. I don't know. That's just kind of my, my theory so far. This is my room, huh? I don't even have the energy to examine it. It's nice. Good generic hotel room. Before I know it, my body collapses on the bed. This is such a mess. I'm too exhausted to think about this whole ordeal. Ultimate awardees being held hostage. Those machine guns at the door. A killing game. It's too much to handle for a single day. My family, they must be worried sick. I have no clue whether Hitoshi's alright or not, but I can't imagine how my other siblings are feeling. Besides them, there's also my best friend. Didn't she? Oh. I promised him we'd meet again after the awards ceremony, but... Sigh. That's the first time we've... She's talked about him, right? I hope at the very least he's eating well. Okay. I stare at my talent certificates in my hand. This killing game is bad enough as it is. One of my talents will make it even worse. I don't want to think about it. I toss my certificates on the floor. I don't even want to look at them right now. All I want to do is go to sleep. Oh yeah, she had, a, she had a certificate for both of her talents, too. I kind of forgot about that part. I feel like uh, somebody might steal, yeah, one of them, so they can, like, show it to the rest and be like, Look, she's been lying! She has a second talent. Oh, hey! Oh my god. Internet sensation. Hitman! Okay, so you are! You are, like, an assassin. I knew it. Hey there. Uh, had a long day? What sort of question is that? The fuck? Of course she did. Come on, I was just making sure. Our Akira's a tough girl, you know. Are y'all watching Danganronpa right now? <laughs> what? And even the toughest people have their limits. Let's ignore this... pest. Hey, wait a second. Anyway, I'm sure you must be... exhausted, Akira. Do you want to talk about your day? Is this my dream? The fuck? We're always here to listen. Even on your darkest days, we'll be right by your side. Don't ever forget that. Ryuse, Yuki. Thank you. Who are you people? <laughs> what? Wait, I kind of want to rewatch that. What was it? You, what's it? I guess hey she there. was. Are they just like dead? Like dead friends or something that she like dreams about? Hey there. Had a long day? What sort of question is that? I guess so. Of course she did. I think that makes Come the most on, sense. Come on, I was just making sure. Our Akira is a tough girl, you know. And even the toughest people have their limits. I like their what? clothes. They kind of got drip. <laughs> Damn, these ghosts got drip. Uh, thank you, uh, Big Chunk Asora. Akira, Ko, you're he artless and dripless. And maidenless. And you're shorter than we be doves. Oh my god, he is shorter than me, probably. That's, that is, now that is some good news. <laughs> that is some good news. Thank you, sir, for the donation. Appreciate ya. Let's ignore this pest. Hey, wait a second. Anyway, I'm sure you must be exhausted, Akira. Do you want to talk about your day? We're always here to listen. That's Even sad, on though. your darkest days, we'll be right by your side. Don't ever forget that. It does make sense that I guess like a lot of her friends would have died, you know, kind of considering the line of work that she does, you know what I mean? Oh my god, we have Ko in chat. I love you, Ko. <laughs> I'm your biggest stan. And you're so cute and you didn't deserve anything that happened to you in this episode. Oh, I saw a little chibi. <laughs> I saw some chibi art for a second. It looked like a uh, Tamoya, maybe. Oh, thank you, Ari. They are fellow hitmen's in the mafia she's in. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling that was the case. I guess maybe that, um... Okay, the creator wanted Weeby to watch the trailers. There's lore. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. I'll, um, take a look at it, I guess, after I, uh... After I finished everything now? But, yeah, I hadn't watched any of the trailers, so... I guess it's kind of... 
<laughs> well, I'm confused. And thank you, Ari, for the donation. Appreciate you. Yeah, I assume they're like old friends, fellow hitmen people who are dead. Oh yeah, I kind of want to take a look at the logo again. Cause it was like a uh, Coke kind of had like a flower on his uh, outfit too. <laughs> One day before the ultimate award ceremony. Oh, flashback. God, it's freezing tonight. Here, take my coat. Thanks. So, oh. tomorrow's the big day, huh? EOS Institute's ultimate award ceremony. I'm sure you of all people would be familiar with this. Is this, didn't she? After all, you were also an ultimate awardee a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. I also worked for EOS in the past, so of course I know about them. How old is he? You know, Akira, I'm not shocked you received an award. He looks sketch, though. <laughs> He looks kind of evil. I see it in his face. Thank you, Chubaluba. Hi, we be These five months have flown by. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you being a member. And thanks for stopping by the stopping by the stream. Considering how hardworking you are, it's no wonder you're also an ultimate. I've seen everybody simp for this guy in chat. That's how you know he's thanks. sus. Thanks. Still, it's the fact that I'm receiving two awards that shocks me. Ultimate internet sensation? I, I'm flattered, but I get it. Ultimate Hitman? It's not that strange. I know how EOS systems works. <laughs> She's like, I've only killed a hundred people. I don't think, I don't think I need that. They're willing to award anybody who's the best at their field the second they turn 18. Even if their skills might be illegal. <laughs> I mean, just take a look at me. Sure, it's a bit of a gray area. But okay. you know I didn't become the former Ultimate Hacker by playing nice. Ultimate Hacker, man. For such a prestigious organization, I don't understand why they'd award criminals. Yeah, for real. I always find that weird. It's their way of encouraging these people to stop and take a different path in life. EOS wants them to use their skills for the betterment of society instead, so they can pat themselves on the back for reforming them and giving them a second chance or something like that. Well... Not like a majority of them actually do change their ways. <laughs> it's like a little, I don't know, it's a little bit roundabout. It's like, they want, I want you to change your ways from a hitman. That's why I'm going to give you an award for being a hitman. It's kind of like, it feels like it's kind of like a good job. You know what I mean? But also like, uh, like, but also stop that. But don't, <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, Chubaluba, for uh, the gifted membership. And congrats to Kai the Reaper. Hope you enjoy the perks. When you put it like that, it makes sense. And it's definitely in character for them to do these sorts of things to boost their reputation. But how do they even get such sensitive information? You're talking to the answer right now. I should have expected mm. as much. But I know you're not the one who told them about me. So how in the world did they find out I'm a hitman for the Yakuza? Okay, for the Yakuza. <sighs> I wish I knew too. It's a rare instance when I don't know something. Is she like hard up for like money or something? Is that why she does this? But don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. I feel bothered by my talents. Even if I did accept them both, sometimes I wish I just rejected them. Still having afterthoughts about that decision? I know we talked about it before, but it's troubling you even now, huh? Sorry. No need to apologize. You know I'm always willing to hear you out. Look, I get why you're still having doubts. Being awarded with a talent like the ultimate hitman must be seriously conflicting for you. Awarded for my ability to kill? I feel sick thinking about it. And it's even worse to think that I'm talented at it. Yeah, she doesn't seem really like pl proud of her abilities at all. So it definitely probably is because she like really needed money or something along those lines. Then again, I... I worked extremely <clears throat> hard to get to this point, too. Let's look at it from a different perspective. Instead of being some killing machine, think of it as a skill of being stealthy, observant, and strong enough to defend yourself and those you love. And <laughs> just totally sugarcoat it. <sighs> You're right. Besides, it's not like me to worry so much. No, I'd say the Akira I know is a worrywart. You always dwell on the smallest issues. Like that one time you accidentally bought me the wrong ice cream flavor and panicked about it. Shut up! I, you used to be super scary back then, you know? You declared daggers at anyone who looked at you for more than a second. 
I was afraid you'd kill me over mint ice cream. <laughs> Jeez, you used to be so cute when we first met. D uh, whatever, let's move on. <sighs> about earlier. Thanks for reassuring me about my talents. Are we still on for tomorrow? We can hang out after the ceremony ends. Sure, okay. just text me when you're near my apartment. I'll let you in. Sounds like a plan. Ah, I'm here already. Thanks for walking me home. See you, Denshi. Are they like a thing? <laughs> it's like he's got like his arm around her too. I was like, I don't know if I'm picking up on these vibes. He seems sketch as fuck though. <laughs> I don't know. He seems really sketchy. I think he just kind of has like an evil look to him. Oh, he's even got a picture of them on the desk. Are they like dating or like together? I'm starting to think that that is the case. Akira is finally getting recognized for her skills. She used to be such a shy person a few years ago, and now she's becoming an ultimate. I'm proud of how far she's come. Yeah, do something evil now. <sighs> Yawn, it's getting late. I should get some work done so that I'm free tomorrow when Akira comes over. Back to work. Well, I guess actually, maybe he won't be sketchy. Maybe he'll be able to try to like, I don't know, what's the word? Hack into the like killing game. Hack into the killing game system and bust us out. Maybe, I don't know. Now let's see what was, I was working on last time. He might be our only chance, honestly, to get us out of this killing game at this point. Prologue, memories of her. Still in the prologue. Even though we got through the uh, announcement of like the killing game starting and stuff, that's usually when it kind of, um, whatchamacallit ends. Oh, they're besties? Okay. Thank you, Ch Big Chunk of Sora. Kira wasn't too hard to figure out. You were assassin, considering you posted videos like, how to get blood stains out of your shoes and knives. <laughs> Just like a video that's like, how to trick your parents into not finding out that you're an assassin for the Yakuza. How do they figure it out? <laughs> Thank you, Fallen Redditor. You can call, you call him Sketch. Now you play as him. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I guess maybe, maybe he is going to be the one to bust us out. I guess we'll see. Oh, <sighs> yawn. Did I fall asleep? That's rare. What time is it? I glance at my phone. Shit! Oh, shit! I can't believe I fell asleep for an entire day. <laughs> He's got little kitty ears, too. I just noticed that. Well, actually, I can't believe I didn't pass out for an entire week. Anyways, the ultimate word ceremony ended yesterday, and Akira and I were supposed to hang out afterwards. Uh, totally bailed on her. She's going to be so mad. She'd be so mad at me for ignoring her texts and calls, huh? That's weird. She hasn't texted me since the day before yesterday. There's a sinking feeling in my gut, and I don't know if it's because I ate something bad or if Akira's in trouble. Oh, uh, spidey senses are going off. Maybe she's just tired from the ceremony and decided to head back to her place to rest? Yeah, that's right. Nothing bad happened. I'm just overthinking. Good morning. Oh. Morning, son. Glad you managed to get What's some up? sleep. Oh, okay. I was like, it sounded kind of robotic for a second. I was like, Do you program a robot. It was like, I lost my dad at a young age. I programmed a robot to be my dad. <laughs> or something weird like that. Thank you, New World. Shalik, do you think Raincode will also have a devil murder in the third case? Also, again, I love your content. Thank you so much. I don't know. Knowing Kadaka, I probably will. Honestly, I'm gonna be looking out for it for sure when I'm doing it, when I'm playing it. But yeah, it's kind of hard to know since it is like its own thing, but it's also like the spiritual successor to Danganronpa. So I'm sure there will be some like references to Danganronpa, but I don't know if they'll do something like that. Thank you, Kura Iuta. Just got off work. Did I miss anything? <laughs> you missed a lot. I would I would rewind and watch watch some of the other stuff that happened in the in the last uh, video we watched. Oh, there was quite a Quite a good bit that happened. Thank you for uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the donation. I oh, thank God I'm not alone in my thoughts. Hey, what's up? Regarding your health, your heart rate rapidly shot up the second you saw no messages from your friend. Don't worry. Him. <laughs> That's just what they have his name as. Him. It's just me being panicky for no reason. Don't worry. About Relatable. That. And what? I can't say for no reason, but check the news. Any news channel, it's being broadcasted everywhere. Oh, what it's actually fuck? being reported on? How, what do you mean? Is she hurt? Did she... Did, she's alive. Don't panic. Just check the news. Bolting out of my bed, I immediately scramble down the stairs and turn on the TV. 
And the police are already investigating the scene. But there seem to be no traces of this year's ultimate awardees or their kidnappers. Okay. Kidnappers? For interesting. It's like they're in the building, too. Unless it's like an old picture of the building, but kind of interesting yeah, if they just created like a fake, a fake version of the whole convention to trick us. Furthermore, the announcement of the killing game has left citizens in shock. What the hell? A killing game? What does any of this mean? Oh Although my god. the awardees appear to be unharmed as of the moment, there is no telling what they may do next. Do we get to watch Danganronpa? The visitors that have accompanied each of the awardees have also gone missing. The police have made a statement saying okay. that they will do their utmost to safely rescue these ultimates and their companions before anyone can get hurt. Okay, so her brother was kidnapped too. It had been a while since we heard anything about him, you know what I mean? So I guess, yeah, that makes sense though. I feel like that will definitely come into play at some point. We are well aware oh. of the public outcry against this hostage takeover. <laughs> Drink some water. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> what is up? Oh man, I found a new character to simp for. <laughs> Thank you, Chumalupa, Sarah. Okay, one last last one for now. I just wanted to show support to one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, that's so sweet. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching the stream and for the donations. It's very kind of you. Oh yeah, now I see you guys. I see you guys with me. Finally, y'all caught up. <laughs> I was like, I love it. I love seeing everybody simp and chat too. Um, hello, hello, ma'am. And we are currently uh, investigating but... EOS Institute's Convention Center in search <laughs> for the ultimate awardees. As the head of the investigation committee, I, Kaoru Yasunaga. Oh, wait. Oh, she's related to somebody. Crap, who has that last? Oh, I'm so bad at names. I'm like, somebody does have that last name, though, don't they? Kaoru Yasunaga. Is that? That's not Tomoya, right? Damn it, whose last name is that? <laughs> will not let the perpetrators of such a heinous crime get away with this. I assure you, citizens of Tokyo, justice will prevail. Oh, queen. As expected of Officer Yasunaga. <laughs> the news report is like, as expected. Okay, I'm just so sorry, Steen. I just need a second to, to stop fangirling for a second. <laughs> if you're in charge, I'm confident the situation will be resolved quickly. Your history of You know that news reporter is simping for her so bad. Stopping crime at its roots speaks for itself. After all, it was thanks to you that the chairman of the... Oh. But did I, don't turn it off! I want to hear the tea! She probably is evil, though. <laughs> She's hot and a police officer. Evil. Um, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. How could that police chief be so hot? It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make sense. I think you Ari. We be you simp. Okay, okay. It's not just me, though. It's not just me. Everybody's simping for her, okay? Thank you, Sean Rizendez. Oh, God, Fim Kenjo. Just a reminder, I don't think the creators really care for when um, people compare the characters to, like, other characters from other fan gans, but... I do feel the, the police officer thing just because I'm like, damn, I can't simp for another police officer. Thank you, Big Chunk of Sora. I'm glad it's already confirming that the world hasn't ended like in the main series. Get out of the way. Now I won't have to entertain that theory. That's true. It is It is nice to kind of have this um side story. Definitely makes it a bit more unique than most of them. Of all the year, of all the year, year groups of the ceremony they could have chosen from, why did they pick Akira as? Can we see the police officer again? <laughs> Can can we follow her actually during this this time? It's very important for me to see more of her. Are these bastards targeting her? Or is there someone else in her batch? Either way, Kira's in danger, and I won't be able to live with myself if anything happens to her. What the fuck? You was a ceremony got hijacked by some group, and they're making the awardees kill each other. Your friend is unfortunately wrapped up Shit. in this mess too. Shit, I can't let Akira get hurt. What else do you know about the killing game? Just the same stuff that's on the news. It's being broadcasted by an unknown network. It's some sort of reality TV show. Oh, it is! Oh my god, it literally is being broadcasted like a TV show. The rules of the game say the awardees have to kill someone and get away with it in order you to sure get about out. That? That's all? You checked everywhere for any hidden information around the internet, right? And I mean no everywhere. Found. Yeah, not a single clue. Not even a on any illegal website. So top it off, they're using him as a mascot. Him. Don't. About don't that. tell me. 
The police went to inspect the convention center, but nobody's inside apparently. Okay, so it is like a replica threat. I was thinking at, I was thinking too, like, what is Ko's excuse gonna be when he starts giving them like incentives to kill? He's like, guys, I really, really don't wanna do this, you know? I'm like not <laughs> I'm not a part of the killing game, you know? I'm just the messenger, so don't blame me. But also all your friends and family are gonna be murdered <laughs> within twenty four hours if one of you doesn't kill. I know. <laughs> sucks. That sucks so bad. But don't, don't, don't blame me. That's all the police have said so far. They're still in the middle of the investigation. It does kind of seem like this is just a robot based off of his dad or something. That's a little weird, bro. <sighs> Ugh, these idiots will take their sweet time on their investigation as long as it doesn't personally affect them. I'll handle it myself. I have to handle it myself before... Before Akira. Oh, he's got little bunny ears on his jacket, too. That's cute. Okay, maybe he's not sketch. That won't happen. You know Akira's tough. She's a fighter and won't give up easily. What will you do? Moving on. What's your plan? I'm going to the convention center. You are? That's surprising. If there isn't any information online, then I have no choice but to go out. I'll do anything. It's not like I want to leave my apartment either, but... If I can find anything that can help me rescue Akira, then... Young love. <laughs> I see, I see. Jeez. Oh, young love. <laughs> Stop that. Stop that, robot dad. <laughs> Stop. Stop teasing me. So you're not denying it. All right, all right. I'll stop. More importantly, you do know that they won't let you in to investigate, right? How will you handle that? I'll work my way around it and sneak around. If that doesn't work, I'll use my identity if needed. Be careful. Are you sure you want to go that far? It's important for someone like you to stay anonymous. Revealing your identity would be disastrous. I know. I know that. I know that the consequence what the consequences are. But something as trivial trivial as this isn't as important as Akira's safety. Please take care of yourself. Your life isn't trivial, Denshi. Ugh. I'll handle it myself. I'll deal with it once the time comes. For now, I want to focus on rescuing her. Sai, if that's what you want, I won't stop you. Hey, you really have changed, didn't she? She's impacted you a lot, hasn't she? Well, best of luck. If you need any help, I'm always here by your side. However, before you do all that, you better eat. I don't have time to. <laughs> you last ate over 30 hours oh, ago. Oh, wow. And the national dietary recommendation is to 30 hours. I'll be fine. I need to <laughs> pass out. I'll be fine. <laughs> Kira would be nagging you if you didn't eat. Damn, I even survive. I cannot. Oh, God, I can't even go like 10 hours without eating. Oh, I forgot I told you to bring her up if I don't eat regularly. <laughs> All right, you win this time. I always got like a little cat sculpture too. Compared to my bedroom, I'd say this place is spotless. It does feel empty when no one's around, though. I remember when Akira forced me to go shopping to renovate my apartment. She said this cat reminded her of me. I don't see any resemblance. <laughs> Even though he's got, like, the cat ears <laughs> as, he's, as he's thinking this. I found this piece for six years already. I wonder what that says. I can't care less about calligraphy, but this is the only piece that's ever resonated with me. After all, it was a gift from... Are you so in love? What a pain. Oh, I gotta go cook something. Let's go to the kitchen and see what's in my pantry. Instant ramen, instant ramen. And wow, instant ramen again. <laughs> what was I expecting? Dude, you cannot be starving yourself for like 30 hours and then just eating instant ramen. If Akira found out, she'd give me a lecture again. That cannot be good for you. Sometimes she'd come over with her homemade bento because I'd be stuck in my room working for days at a time without taking a moment to eat. I hope she's okay. Time for some instant ramen, as usual. I take out a cup of instant ramen and pour boiling water into it. Huh? Something bumps into my leg? Uh, you... What the fuck? What is that? What are you doing here? What the fuck is that? Why does it have legs than a toaster? What? Why? You know you shouldn't run around <laughs> indoors. You might hit a wall by accident. I haven't built arms for you yet, so I gotta be there in case you fall down somewhere. <laughs> I'm a little busy, so I'll bring you outside some other time. Come on, back to the counter you go. Does it speak? <laughs> His eyes go in opposite directions. Kill me, master. Oh, Toasty, you're so funny. 
<laughs> Always asking for me to put you out of your misery. <laughs> Why did you give it legs? Couldn't you just give it wheels? I put Yui back. <laughs> One day I got bored and installed some legs onto my toaster. I ended up getting attached and naming her Yui. She's a bit of a troublemaker, but she means well. Come to think of it. <laughs> God, if it was um, Techie, it would be... Their name would be Toasty Woasty. Come to think of it, why did I buy a toaster in the first place? I don't even eat bread. I only eat instant ramen. What should be done by now? Ah, perfect. I'm starving. The food of the gods. <laughs> the food of the gods. Only 200% of your daily sodium in that. Perfect food. So, so, so healthy. Thank you, Big Chunk of Sora. Ah, finally, a quality robot is here. Unlike... <laughs> How dare you say that about the little guy? The little guy, Ko. He, he doesn't mean any wrong. He's a good boy. I do kind of feel like didn't she's the one who like made Ko though. Because they were like, oh, you won't believe who's like the mascot. It was him. So uh, it kind of seems interesting. He definitely seems connected to the main people who made this game. But I don't think he's a part of it or like, you know, the one. I don't know. I don't think he's like, you know working as like a mastermind or whatever. I just think that they have like beef with him or something. And thank you, Ori. It's Toaster, Toaster Woaster, the twin, the shocky walkie. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Oh man. Thank you for the dono, by the way. Akira would have rolled her eyes if she heard me call instant ramen the best food. Akira, that's right. I have to find out what happened to her. Now that I'm ready to go out, the sooner I solve this mystery, the best, the better. Oh, that's cool. I like the transition. Outside his house. This is the U.S. Institute's convention center. It's packed with police officers and reporters. I hate crowded areas like this, but I'll just have to bear with it. Excuse me. Move Coming aside. through. I'm trying to get an interview with Officer Yasunaga. <laughs> hey, stay in line, bitch. I'm, I'm about to shoot my shot right now, okay? I will not let you interrupt this. I've been waiting six, since since 6 a.m. You don't know how long the line is to hit. I mean, to hit on, I mean, report on um, Officer Yunaga is. Quick, she's oh, getting yeah, ready let's for see another her. statement. Oh, I've got to get this scoop. I'm ready to see the queen again. Jeez, it looks like everybody's head over heels for that lady who's leading the investigation. Have you seen her? Have you seen her? Do you have eyes, didn't she? It would be useful if I could speak to her to get more information. But I doubt I can go anywhere near her with the report reporters crowding around her. <laughs> She's like, I feel like Officer Kus Kunaga or uh, Karu, what was it, Karu Yusin Kusanaga? Anyways, the hot police lady. I feel like she's gonna be like giving a speech up there, like, I will do whatever it takes to stop, to save these uh, college age children. And like, <laughs> like one of the reporters just like takes her bra off and like throws it on stage. <laughs> just like a bra lands on her. And so he's like, guys, I'm trying to do a serious report here, okay? This isn't a concert. <laughs> yes, Officer Yunaga, we love you, slay. Actually, she'd just arrest me on the spot if she knew who I was. On the bright side, if they're busy with the Yasunaga lady, I wonder what she thinks of uh, Kira too. I should be able to reach the main entrance without having to go through the hordes of people. Oh, oh my god, generic officer San. Hey you. Huh? <laughs> huh? Our authorized personnel are only authorized personnel are allowed past this point. Get lost. I'm just trying to doesn't matter if you're one of those journalists or not. Only police are allowed from this point onwards. Are you even a news reporter? You look like a... Are you even a news uh. reporter? You look like a shut-in. <laughs> uh -huh. well, all I want is to take a small peek at the entrance. It kind of looks like a weeb, dude. I won't touch anything, and I'll be out of your hair in a few minutes. Mister, I'm just trying to do my job. No one's allowed here except for us. Get out of here. Ah, uh, yeah, my messy appearance had to be my downfall. This isn't working out as expected. He seems like a low-ranking police officer. He doesn't even have a face. That's how you know he's unimportant. So I probably can't bribe my way in without being shooed out by the others. What a pain. Well, I guess I'll have to play dirty. Please, just let me in. It'll only take a bit- Ow! <laughs> what the hell was that like, for? Or something? Huh? I just blocked your way. 
Why are you overreacting? Is he like really that weak? He <laughs> like touched him. He's like, ow, that's gonna leave a bruise. You shoved me. <laughs> Is this how the police oh, no. act towards civilians? Oh no, he's just being, he's just being extra. I, I didn't shove you at all. I didn't even touch you. <laughs> what are you saying all of a sudden? Oh no, God, my arm, it's broken. Oh God. I can't believe this is how you treat your civilians. <laughs> Mister, so extra. I have no clue what you're talking about. What's the commotion here, Yamada? S sir! Is something wrong? Oh. God, why are they making all the police officers so hot? Jackpot. <laughs> Another hot person. Higher up appears just as expected. Wait a second. I recognize him. <laughs> oh, no. He's hot. No, sir. I was just asking this civilian to leave before he can tamper with any evidence and... Well, I don't think any well-intentioned citizen would try to ruin the investigation. Uh, Damn, that voice too. Uh, of, of course not, sir. But it's simply a part of our protocol. And frankly, this man doesn't look like a well-intentioned citizen. Gee, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> just because I'm a weeb? <laughs> Good one, Yamada. That's no way to treat an upstanding civilian. Why don't you let me handle this? Uh, uh are you sure, sir? I, I can... No, no, it's not a problem. You can even take a short break. You must be exhausted from standing here this entire time. The annoying officer bows awkwardly and runs off in the other direction. Sorry about him. I hope you don't mind too much since he honestly was just trying to do his job. <laughs> People sipping in chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. How tall is this guy? His silhouette is towering over me. Now that I got a closer look at his face, I definitely know uh, who this is. It's rude of me not to introduce myself. My name is Isao Morita, and I am the Commissioner Morita. General of the National Police Agency. Oh my god, you're gonna get like a little a slide? <laughs> Here's my headshot. Model of a uh, model of perfection, oh, I'll say. I'll say he's a model of perfection. Yep, I'm fucked. I was expecting a high profile guy, but not the commissioner general himself. From what I have researched about him, he doesn't take many public appearances and conducts most of his work in his private office. He's got a clean record and expects the same for everyone. What's he doing here? Well, better get on his good wow. side. The Commissioner General, huh? I wasn't expecting such a young... I was expecting such a cutie. Wasn't expecting you to be such a hottie. Oh, Jeff, of course, you're all over this guy. <laughs> I haven't seen... I was like, this is the first time I feel like I've seen you type uh, this series in chat, Jeff. It's like once he shows up, once the DILF shows up, Jeff's just like, I, I, I have appeared. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Thank you, Kuupa. Him, him, slay. We stand you, head officer Isao. Thank you, Ari. Marita is Shion and Tomoya's dad. Oh, that makes sense. Damn. I kind of wanted to hate him because their backstory seems sad, but... I think I'm just going to simp instead. You know, he didn't mean to do anything wrong. Maybe he's a shitty dad, and maybe he traumatized his son, Tamoya. You know, maybe he shot somebody right in front of Tamoya. But, but you know, he just, he's got a lot on his mind. He's got a lot on his mind. He's got a lot on his mind. I don't know if it's fine, Jeff. I was just memeing on you. I just thought it was funny. I hadn't seen you in chat, but then once I saw this guy, I was like, Jeff has appeared. I wasn't trying to, like, uh, criticize you or anything. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, you flatter me too much. No, seriously, what's a police thinking appointing a 25-year-old to, like, to be commissioner general? Oh, 25. 42? Oh, damn, you're looking good for 42. Oh, try 42. No way. You're what? You barely look older than me. I hope I age as well as you in around 20 years. I know I'm trying to kiss his ass, but there's no way he's actually 42. Does he spend more time on his skincare routine than his job? <laughs> oh, you've got a good sense of humor. I'll give you that. Ahem. 
but complimenting me won't get you inside the convention center. I'm afraid I'll have to ask Excuse you to leave. Me. Who is this girl? Hello there. Excuse me. Ah, uh, I didn't expect you to be here. How could I not come here to ask for details? Two very important figures in my family were kidnapped. I apologize, ma'am, but we can't let civilians in here as it will disrupt our investigation. Oh dear me, we've known each other for years. You know I won't do anything <laughs> like that. They can like sweet talk him. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, you know, I'll let you in. And then she's like, what, what the fuck? Besides, I'm a worried parent. So you should understand how I feel. I completely understand. You're not even related to anybody. You don't have a face. <laughs> Makes me think you're lying. to protect you. As esteemed as your family is, I don't think you should pry further as whoever is behind this seems extremely dangerous. Please, let us handle this. All I'm asking is... Ma'am, it's part of our protocol. I cannot let you investigate. Hmm. The sophisticated lady huffs and storms out. Despite his friendly demeanor, the Commissioner General is strict about who gets it to investigate the convention center. If he turned down his acquaintance, there's no way he'd let some random shut and explore the place. I have no choice but to use my trump card. My apologies. Right, sorry about that. What were you- what were we talking about again? Ah, uh, yes. As you can see, civilians are not allowed inside, so it would do you good to return to your I'll home. I'll handle it myself. I can help with the investigation, sir. I've repeated this numerous times already. Yo, but this is the police's job. Uh, Please, leave. Yon. I'm Yon? sorry. <laughs> My name. It's Yon. You should know what that means. Just making up shit. How amusing. <laughs> oh, like I'm. <laughs> it's like I feel like it's the equivalent of being like, it's me. I'm L. It's like no, you're fucking not. <laughs> Thank you, Big Chunkasora. In he artless world, police support is massive, but crime rates is massive. Stated reasons from the criminal. I wanted to meet and be held by a hot cop. <laughs> Arrest me, mom. <laughs> Arrest me, mother. <laughs> Arrest me, daddy. <laughs> it's basically that the crime rates have skyrocketed just to try to get attention from them. It's like the police actually come to like a rest and you're like, hey, well, yo, where's Marita? <laughs> that was the whole point of doing this. What outrageous claim. You should be making such jokes in front of the police, you know. It's no If you no expect joke. me to believe that you are the infamous hacker, Young, okay. I'll need some confirmation. Is that actually his, like, online persona or something? You want me to prove it? That'll be easy. Give me a sec. I pull out Let's my phone. See. That policeman from earlier was called Yamada, right? This database should have his information. Hmm... There are several people named Yamada here. Not him. Not him either. Ah, bingo. Sorry for the wait. Don't worry. It's only been two minutes. Here's the rundown on that guy from before. Goro Yamada. Age 37. Born on 25th November. Has a stay-at-home wife and two children. Both of whom are attending Kanagawa Middle School. He's 176 centimeters tall, weighs 68 kilograms. And his blood type is O negative. If you still don't believe me, I can list his home address, <laughs> phone number, and the name of his great great grandpa's first love. <laughs> if you don't believe me, I can dox him. Hold up. <laughs> Just give me a second. Oh, I can also show you what problematic ships he likes. Ooh, I'm gonna get him canceled. Thank you, Gavin Daddy. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Sorry. God, me this whole stream, dude. Thank you, Safi. It's Officer Markiplier. He does kind of look like Markiplier, doesn't he? Hey, that's a compliment if I've ever heard one. Thank you for the donation as well. I see. That's quite impressive, running a thorough background check within minutes. Although I still have some reservations, I'll believe you for now. Wouldn't you like want to arrest him though, too? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, <laughs> Mr. Yon. Perfect, now I can convince him to let me investigate. Nice to meet you too, Officer Marita. <laughs> Oh, just call me Sal. Uh, uh, call me Sal. <laughs> I don't mind one bit. Uh, uh, <laughs> Officer Morita. <laughs> I suppose Let's that works too. This. Back to business, Mr. Yon. I'm so su I'm surprised a world-class hacker such as yourself would reveal your identity so easily to a policeman at that. Are 
Are you not worried that I'll arrest you on the spot? Well, you wouldn't let me in otherwise. If I did, I wouldn't be here in the first place. Besides, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just here to investigate the kidnapping of the ultimate awardees, that's all. It shouldn't be a big problem, right? I wonder where they took them to since this building Don't does you seem agree? to be abandoned. I mean, what do you say? Don't saying? you agree? I mean, having me on your side is a good thing. That depends on your intentions behind this investigation. Kind of surprised he was ready to go on like first name basis with Denshi after he revealed he was like a hacker. Well, I can acknowledge your skills in gathering information. I'm afraid that as a member of the law enforcement, I can't trust you just yet. What's your plan? Why would you want to investigate this incident? As far as I know, you're known for exposing corrupt individuals on the internet. Not looking into missing people. Oh my god, is he really Is he really just like canceling people on Twitter? <laughs> That's his true talent. That's what he does the hacking Strange. for. In fact, you showing up to EOS's convention center in person instead of investigating in line is strange. He probably exposes, like, actual, like, corrupt people, but it's kind of funny just to imagine him online, like, Oh my god, you're never gonna believe what Danganronpa ships this guy likes. You sure about that? I can say the same to you, Mr. Commissioner. Why are you here? Isn't that Yasunaga lady in charge of this case? You can just sit back and relax in your big boss chair while your officers do the work. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on now, Mr. Yon. You're making me sound like a slacker. Well, it's true that Kaoru's leading the investigation. Huh? Kaoru? Kaoru Yasunaga. While it's true that she's the head of this case, I'm here to supervise. Besides, an incident of this magnitude, I had to see it's things for myself. It's my responsibility. I may not be directly in charge of this, but I still have a responsibility to figure out the truth. Actually, there's more to it than that. Oh, and what's that? Hi. I have two children. Oh, yeah. They were both invited to EOS's award ceremony this year. I was kind of wondering how he felt about that. I was like, I was hoping he would be upset about it. Oh my god, Fuda? Yeah, literally. I do kind of like to imagine him just being like a Fuda, Kenny. Thank you, Big Chunkasora family. What made you want to be a police officer? Me, flashbacks to seeing mommy cop. I wanted to <coughs> help people. That, that's so true. That's, that's so true. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. So, your kids are also involved in this mess, huh? At least he cares. Must be hard. I guess it's the bare minimum. And the only reason why the police aren't slacking off like they usually do is because it's personal this time. Yes. That is precisely why I must save them as soon as possible. You seem pretty calm about this. <laughs> it's a skill I've learned to develop throughout my career. I can't lose face at a time like this. But, in all honesty, I'm terrified of losing my son and daughter. They're all I have. Who was the one who... Because they were like... The kids were like split up. One was like living with the mom and one was living with the dad. Who was living with the dad again? Was it Tomoya? I was kind of assuming it was Tomoya just because he seemed to have like... Whatchamacallit. Um, issues when it comes to like... You know like trauma when it comes to guns. All this time. I've been so focused on my work that I didn't spend enough time with them. But now that something like this has happened... I feel ashamed to call myself a father. I can't bear the thought of either of them getting hurt. <sighs> I didn't mean to ramble. In any case, I won't let anything happen to them or any of the other awardees. Okay, it is Tomoya that lives with the dad. That makes sense. If I worry about them, I'll end up acting recklessly and getting nowhere. I just need to keep my head cool and face this head on. That's true. If it means anything, I think you're doing a good job at it. Thank you. Just like you saw with that woman earlier, there were also some other family members of the hostages who tried to barge in here. They were desperate to find their loved ones, crying, yelling, and begging to get inside. The sight of their frustration and fear broke my heart. I feel like this guy is super... I don't know. I guess he's just, you know... <laughs> I don't know. It, especially the fact that Tomoya has, like, so much... Um, trauma it seems like and I assume it has to do you know with his father and like his career I don't know he definitely does seem kind of like sketchy to me I guess not necessarily like mastermind sketchy but I just feel like he's gonna be kind of fucked up that's why I need to track down the culprit and get to the bottom of this all of those people depend on us 
That sounds like a huge burden, but I'll solve this mystery too. I can't say it's for their sake, though. I like it. It's someone important to you is wrapped up in this mess. How amusing. That's the only possible reason why you're here to investigate Mr. Yon. Jeez, I guess you aren't the police commissioner for nothing. I hate that you're <laughs> clever. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. But I'd rather you not poke into my Don't personal worry. business. Don't worry, I'm not planning to. However, that is not a good enough reason for me to let you investigate. You are a skilled hacker, there's no doubt about that. But I don't believe that this is your area of expertise. I understand that you are quite worried about your loved one. It's my responsibility. But to rest assured, you can rely on the police to get to the bottom of this mystery. Eh, doubt it. Perhaps you should take this time to rest instead. Seriously? After all that crap I said to gain his trust, every trauma dumped on me for like the last five minutes? I just revealed my identity to him, which could have quite literally cost me my life. If even that isn't enough, then... Besides, there might be one last way I can convince him to help let me in. Actually... Act actually, this is my area of expertise. I've worked with EOS in the past. I know much more about their inner workings than you think I do. In fact, I probably know more than you. Uh-oh, roasted! Strange. That's quite a surprise. I never expected EOS to work with such a highly acclaimed hacker. If I may, what kind of work do you do for them? Well, I'm not willing to share that information unless you can let me investigate the convention center. All right. Ha, oh, you drive a hard bargain. Mr. Yone, all right, I'll bite. If you want, if what you're saying is true, then I'll allow you to investigate. I guess it makes sense, like offer him information in exchange for letting him in. Really, thank you, on two conditions. I should have expected that. First, I'll be accompanying you during this investigation, and you will report your findings to me. Sounds like you want to make me do the work for you. Clearly, you know I cannot allow you to investigate simply because you're an exceptional hacker. Sure, you may be able to crack some encrypted data, but we have our own team of IT experts to do that. I am only making an exception because of your connection with EOS. I believe your knowledge about them will be of great use to me. In return, I'll aid you and provide any information you need to unravel this mystery. It sounds like a fair exchange to me. Also, I can't trust you completely. I'm afraid your job makes you a suspicious individual. So, this will help me keep an eye on you. Great. I don't want the Commissioner General of the Police hovering over my shoulder and watching my every move. I'm kind of surprised that, like, it's kind of weird that, like, you know, EOS is able to give out these, like, talent certificates to people or like give these ultimate talents to people who are like doing criminal jobs in the first place it's like when does identity already be revealed with the fact that it's like come up here Dinchi, and receive your certificate for being the ultimate hacker <laughs> but if i want to save a cure i don't have much of a choice all right i'm fine with that my second condition is you must tell me about your previous work with the os now Ooh. That seems like a trap. I'm their informant. That's all. <laughs> Tell me everything you know, then I'll let you in. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna let him in. <laughs> That's all? Fine. There's more to it than that. But it's not relevant to the killing game or anything like that. It wouldn't be of use to you anyway. I'll be the judge of that. <sighs> it's... it's a long story. <sighs> Alright. You don't need to tell me about it. Yet. However, I want you to let me know by the end of the day. Do we have a deal? Deal. Excellent. Let's head inside, shall we, Mr. Yong? Lead the way. I'm back for my break, sir. Uh, oh, this guy again. Why is this man being let inside? <laughs> I talked my way into it. Oh, hey, Goro. <laughs> like flicking him off. Uh, hey, Goro. <laughs> Oopsie, looks like I got a pass to go inside. What the? How did you say hi to your wife and kids for me? <laughs> See ya. I just doxed you, uh, loser. Huh? <laughs> Sir, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Yamada. S Sir, <laughs> wait! That's what you get for having the same first name as a catchy. Finally, Marita and I head inside the convention center. Okay, interesting. Is the next one going to be like a different story, I wonder? Or is it going to be continuing this? Kind of curious. Next episode.
Okay, so we got... Oh, yeah, I guess it is continuing it, because he's still still in the picture. Episode 7. Okay, it seems like we're at the end. I guess we will see a little bit more of what he's up to. I guess we'll also kind of get updates with him after every... Um, whatchamacallit? Um, after every, like, chapter concludes. Kind of interesting to think about. We get to watch what happens in the killing game and then kind of watch like his reaction and like I guess the world's reaction to it afterwards. Here we are, the main entrance of EOS's Institute's Convention Center. Wow. Damn, the door is in pretty From bad what shape. I deduced. That's to be expected. From what we're assuming. Okay, yes, yeah, so they did capture us here. Cause she broke down the door in like the regular um whatchamacallit in the regular convention center and then they got transported to like the new one or the fake one or whatever the awardees must have each been ambushed right after they set foot into the convention center the awardees came in at separate times right i like this music yeah that's how the ceremonies usually go you sure you. about that then, isn't it weird? Wouldn't somebody have noticed the busted door when they came in here? Yeah, for real. I see where you're coming from. But the door was only broken down once, and presumably at the ambush for the, la for the last awardee entering the building. Huh? Then how did the others get ambushed? Were the attackers already inside before anybody even showed up? Precisely. That seems to be the case. Is this like an original song? I don't know if I... I definitely don't recognize it from, um... Whatchamacallit. I definitely don't recognize it from, um... Whatchamacallit, like any other Danganronpa games, but... I don't know. But they need to break their way in somehow. Oh, it's an Undertale remix? Oh. The door was only busted once, and at the last awardees... And at the last awardees ambush... That would mean the kidnappers didn't enter through the main entrance. Based on the investigation results. my officers have told me, there's no sign of a forced entry anywhere else in the convention center. Okay. What the fuck? You're kidding, right? If that's the case, that means the kidnappers enter the building normally. Huh. That's what the evidence seems to suggest, but the implications of that are questionable. Yeah, because it wouldn't be possible unless EOS's security guards let them enter on purpose. They should have been fully aware of the ambush, but why weren't they doing anything to stop it? Sketchy. Maybe uh. they should definitely be interviewing, like, uh, EOS people. Uh. They're just like, well, I never heard about no killing game. Were they hired to stand around and look Strange. pretty? Strange, isn't it? What does this mean? Don't tell me that damned woman is in on this. Either that or she's being coerced. Okay. Kind of rewind some of this just to make sure I'm like totally following it. Questionable. The EOS is security guards. Let them in on purpose. Huh. Actually, has Kumiko said anything about this situation? Kumiko? As in Kumiko Arase? Okay, that's who he was referring to. I thought he was refer referring to the woman or like the police woman for a second. I was like, I don't think that makes sense I'm though. I'm surprised you're on such close terms with the founder okay. and CEO of EOS Institute. Even if you've worked with her. <laughs> it's, it's so weird. She just kind of disappeared recently, too. <laughs> Probably isn't connected I with this, I wouldn't say we're close. But that's not the point. I see. About that. Ms. Arase oh, has gone missing God. since the ceremony started. Of course she has! What? <laughs> it seems she, too, has been kidnapped. Oh, yeah, that's very convenient. Very... I don't know. Maybe she was kidnapped. I guess it could be, like... You know, somebody who has beef with EOS is doing this, so they would kidnap her and kidnap all the people getting, like, um, you know, um, what's the word? Like, initiated into the school? When we went over to but, her mansion to look for her. I don't know. I just don't trust, the, I don't trust the schools in this game. She was nowhere to be seen. We have another team investigating it right now. I can tell you the results of the investigation after the team files an official report. But yes. Ms. Arase hasn't said anything about the ceremony because nobody knows where she is. It's like, are they just assuming she was kidnapped? Or, like, did they... Did she at least make it look like a kidnapping? It's like I said, she could have been, but... But... Are you sure she's actually sketch. been kidnapped? Yeah, for real. What do you mean? <laughs> Why would somebody lie? <laughs> Couldn't she have gone into hiding herself? <laughs> of course. 
I haven't ruled out that possibility yet. A good detective wouldn't do that. But I don't see why she'd go into hiding unless... <laughs> Mr. Yan, you seem quite suspicious of this lady. Do you think she set up the kidnapping and the killing game? Like you said, a good detective wouldn't rule out possibilities. <laughs> Touche. Still, though, I have no idea what her motive is. I doubt someone like Ms. Arase would do such a thing. I don't see any merit in her doing this. However, I won't jump to conclusions. I'll let the evidence speak for itself. Yeah, all right. Kamiko, just what the hell are you doing? Huh. Be kind of nice to see her. I bet she's hot too. <laughs> right, I don't think there's much else of interest at the main entrance. Interest at the main entrance. I would have thought that there would have been clues strewn all about the place. Strange. Considering that the killing game is supposedly happening right here. Other than the broken door handle, though, this place is spotless. I wonder, like, when the people who are getting, like, initiated, when they have, like, cell phones, can't you, like, track them using that? Hmm. Weird. If the ultimates aren't here, where could they be? It's kind of interesting because I don't really think... I don't know, there's ever been, like, a killing game in, like, a fangan or in the canon where, like, people are actually looking for them, like, trying to help them. Well, I guess kind of in some of the other games, but, like, it's the first time we're actually seeing it, like, go down. And this is, like, being broadcasted to the whole world. It's not like Dragon Rifle 1 where, like, you know, everybody was too busy dealing with like, the apocalypse to really do anything about it. But, uh, yeah, you'd think that they'd be able to track cell phones or something like that. I guess they could all just still be in here, but, you know. The side of the killing game looks exactly like the convention center. My officers are still looking into that matter. Any ideas? It's not like there is an exact replica of this building somewhere, right? But actually, something like that would require a large construction crew, and if that was the case, they'd be talking by now. It does seem like there's a <laughs> lot of people involved in this, though, considering all those guards who, like, ambushed us when we tried to escape. You never know. Bribery goes a long way. You might have even been able to bribe some officers to let you in here. <laughs> hey, why are you giving me that look? In my opinion. Regardless, as unlikely as it sounds, I wouldn't put it past an organization as wealthy and powerful as EOS to pull it off. Even though I doubt it's the case, I'm not ruling it out completely. I guess there's just not really too much of an incentive for them to do it. Agreed. If it's not a duplicate of the convention center, then what could have possibly happened? Don't tell me that they all got abducted and put into some virtual reality simulation. <laughs> no, don't tell me that it was and Rapid 2. <laughs> have you been playing too many video games, Mr. Yawn? <laughs> Maybe. Rude. But it's true. Anyway. Anyways, the staff must have known. Must know what happened. We should question them. It seems all the staff have been keeping quiet about the incident. Many of them have been taken into questioning, but I believe there are a few around here today. Okay. If you want, we could talk to a couple of them. It'd be kind of nice if they knew something, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, that All sounds right. like a good idea. Follow me, then. You think that they would if it happened to be, like, um, connected to EOS? <laughs> Granted, I guess, you know, maybe, like, janitors and, like, cafeteria workers really wanna, wouldn't really know that much about, you know, <laughs> the big conspiracy being led by the EOS. Could it be virtual reality? I'm trying to think. Maybe. That does kind of make sense right now. I don't know if it would really be that hard to make, like, the inside of a building look like the convention center. Especially if, like, they've never... If none of those people have, like, ever been to the convention center before. You know what I mean? Oh, there's one of the janitors right over there. Good afternoon, sir. My colleague and I would just like to ask you a few questions. I, I don't know anything about the kidnapping. I swear. I've already been questioned a billion times. Are you even part of the police? It's a <laughs> long story. I promise it won't take long. Well, what did you want to ask? You were working here yesterday morning, right? Uh, yes. He looks hesitant to say that. Someone's lying to get paid off to not mention it. But yeah, like, even if they were... I guess it's true. They might not have, like, know all the inner workings of, like, why the killing game was set up. But it's like, you'd think he would have heard, like, you know... Teenagers getting kidnapped in the convention center, like screaming or something. What were you doing? Uh, cleaning the food court. And did you see any of the awardees? <laughs> no. Are you sure? Didn't you hear anyone shouting for help? 
Or anything like a struggle coming from the main entrance? Yeah, for real. Not at all. Really? Because when I asked the <laughs> other janitors, they said they heard fighting at the main entrance. <laughs> Didn't you so good at that, trying to get, like, information from people? They said that? <laughs> but we weren't even supposed to be at the oh. convention center yesterday. Oh. Oh? Uh, oh? Uh, I mean... There's no use lying anymore. Got him. But I swear, I don't know anything. Clearly you do. I don't. Do you want to blatantly lie to a member of the police? Come on. You should know better than that. I... <sighs> we were supposed to come in for work yesterday as usual, but the management suddenly told us there was no need to come in that day. Okay. You didn't ask for a reason? Th no. <laughs> I assumed I was the only one who got the notice, and it was because of a change in shifts. Okay. It was only after the kidnapping that I realized most of us were told not to show up. Later, they paid us off to act like we were doing our jobs as oh. usual. Management did? Interesting. Okay, yeah, that's definitely... <laughs> that definitely makes it seem like EOS is connected. So EOS is definitely in on this, yeah. Please, don't let the others know that I told you. I don't want my family and I to get in trouble over this. Why shouldn't I? You lied to us at first. You should have come clean as soon as we asked. No, I... Poor guy. I apologize for my colleague's <laughs> behavior, sir. Rest assured, your secret is safe with us. Mr. Yan, let's leave this man alone. Marita drags me to the other side of the corridor. For a polite man, he sure is as intimidating. Has an intimidatingly strong grip. Come on! What? That's on him for lying. All of them are accomplices to the kidnappers. We should have pressured him further to get more intel. I don't know if he really had any more. So I'll admit you did a good job of coaxing information out of him. But they're all civilians caught up in a scheme they weren't even aware of. It's part of our moral code not to use force or intimidation against innocent people. Innocent, my ass. I don't know. I don't really blame the janitor. You know what I mean? Next time, please let me handle the talk. I'll handle it myself. What are you going to do? Be care, be friendly, and hope they'll confess after seeing how nice, how nice and sexy you are. What was that last part? Nothing. That's the vital difference between us. I can use my good looks. People just start telling me everything. You need to be intimidating. You don't need to. You need to be intimidating in order to get information. I just have to stand here. All I need to do is be trustworthy, and they'll tell me anything. I seriously don't like the attitude of this guy. Everyone just simps for me. Regardless, I believe that's all the information we can gather from the start. None of them are directly involved or know anything else about the hijacking of the award ceremony. It's like, uh, we probably can't get any more information from them, but I do feel like, I do feel like he's kind of given up too quick. You know what I mean? It's like... Why not press like a little bit further to see how much more information you can get? I don't know if I'm overthinking it though, but I feel like that's a little sus of uh, Morita. I'll bet at least one person knows more. I'd blackmail a staff if I could, but seeing his reaction to me pressuring that janitor earlier, it's like, come on, dude, your kids are literally kidnapped. Shouldn't you be like a little bit more like adamant about like solving this? You know what I mean? Like try to check every, every aspect that you can. Mr. Nice Guy pro would probably be against it. Threats and pressure are bound to work on one of these cockroaches. It just seems like he'd be more willing to kind of like go as far as possible to save his kids. I wouldn't think that like when his kids are in danger, he'd be like, oh, we can't be too mean to the staff. But I can't do that with Marita lingering around. I'll have to do it some other time. What about higher management? They're the ones who told the staff not to come in. Yes, at least let's interview them. Uh, no, but uh, but I don't want to be mean. They're not questioning. They're under questioning at the police station as we speak. I'm afraid you'll have to be patient for the results. Let's discuss this. Moving on, I want to check the CCTV footage of the camera at the main entrance. I'm sure we can find some clues there. Follow me to the surveillance room, Mr. Yon. This is a surveillance room. I expected a fancier setup. <laughs> oh, are you used to having more monitors at a time? Mr. Yon, I'm sure a hacker such as yourself um... would. Uh, only 10 monitors? Lame. Why do people always assume hackers have dozens of screens up at the same time? 
It's not like I can look at all of them. Sure, I have a couple, but not that many. Ahem. Oh, ahem. Sorry, pop culture tends to affect people's perception. Anyways, let's review the footage. Here's the one from yesterday morning at the main entrance. Okay. Nothing too peculiar. Let's fast forward a bit. Still nothing. Alright, I'll move it forward a couple of hours, and I'll pause if I see anything. Nothing? That doesn't seem right. It's like the same footage was looped over and over again. Look, the sunlight coming okay. into the room isn't changing at all. See so yeah, how they just looped Shadow it? Shadow should move around as the day goes on since the sun is changing its position. But it's been the same for hours. Yeah, the staff does know way more. They really gotta keep interviewing the staff, especially like the security team. That definitely sounds looped to me. Even though the security guards are denying anything of the sort. <laughs> how troublesome. Seriously, how did they even get hired? I should have gotten the boot long ago. Oh, right. It's because mm. EOS is in on this too. Ugh. Why would EOS want to do this? <sighs> well, I suppose the footage is useless. No kidding, what else can we find out here? I'm afraid there's not much else to investigate. Mm. Um, do you have any other information then? Let's discuss Let this. Let me think, other than the suspicious evidence pointing to EOS itself. I've heard some people, policemen, reporters, and civilians alike whisper about rumors of the Yakuza's involvement. Oh. Huh? What? Why the Yakuza? In my opinion. There's not a single piece of evidence to hint that the Yakuza is behind this killing game. So That's I what personally the don't think. believe it. However, I don't control the thoughts of the masses. They seem to think that Himura clan are the kidnappers. Because the Ultimates were ambushed by many strong assailants. Interesting. That kind of manpower would easily be available. Available to the Yakuza. Since the public generally distrust them, one thing leads to another, and the rumors keep spreading. Hmm. The Himura clan. No, that's impossible. Is that the one that uh, she works for? I guess we don't know yet. I know the ins and outs of the Himura clan better than anyone else, and I know immediately if they were up to something. But if these rumors become rampant, they might be in trouble. Hmm. Hum, is there something you'd like to say about the Himura clan? Something else for me to charge you for? No, it's nothing, but I agree that they're not the ones behind the killing game. Could you elaborate? And what makes you think that? I don't know, I just don't think they'd have anything to gain from it. I just don't think they would like it. It's just not their thing. It's not their All stick. Right. I see. Well, once again, there's simply rumors. Besides, the Himura clan have been pretty quiet since the death of their previous chairman. Okay. And that was several years ago. From I'm what not I deduced. I'm sure if the chairman is passive, or if he's just not that great at leading his men. Yikes, well, he's not wrong. But that's not the point. I doubt they're involved, so let's leave the topic behind. Now that we've explored all there is to explore... <laughs> I have a few questions for you, Mr. Yon. You have questions for me? That's right. If I recall correctly, the mastermind of the killing game is using an android as their mascot. Finally learn, uh, Dinchi's connection to it. And? That android, Ko, was originally part of EOS's possession okay. before it got hijacked. EOS's possession. Do you have any information about it? Considering you've worked for EOS in the past, surely you'd have a hint of what's going on with that. No, I don't. I see. That's a shame. The appearance of that android looks rather familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I wonder what was the inspiration for the creator. Hmm. My inspiration was... What the fuck? Oh, wait, who was that? <laughs> A person who died? I'm like trying to. Okay. Um, it seemed like I guess a girl he used to know. It's interesting. Doesn't Ko use he him pronouns? Ah, you look pale. Are you feeling all right? Or are you hiding something from me? I'm not. It's mm. not good to lie, Mr. Young. And especially not to a police officer's face. Why are you acting like this with the janitor? I simply want to figure out the truth behind this incident. Besides, since we're nearing the end of our investigation, 
I believe it's high time you held up your end of the deal. Hmm. <laughs> I hate dealing with crafty bastards like him. Usually I'd be I fine, but... To forget me? What the fuck? <laughs> What's with this jump scare girl? Ugh. If I come clean, you have to promise you won't hold it against me for lying. Of course, I have no ill will towards you. And I will guarantee your safety from the police for your cooperation today. I... I was commissioned to build the android for EOS as their security system and mascot. Oh man, this is making Dinchi look so bad. The design, the programming, everything was made by me. He was never meant to do any harm to anyone. I assume he got reprogrammed to become the killing game organizer. But it wasn't me. <laughs> Monica, is that you? <laughs> if it was, I wouldn't even be here to investigate. I'd be at home, safe from the public eye. I see. Do you think you could tell me more about your design process? I'm rather intrigued by the fact it looks so human. Can we find out why he was like suffering so bad too or something like that? <laughs> Cause that was interesting. Oh, is there an ad? Ooh, I'm gonna take a water break then. Yeah, it really did seem like Ko was like suffering, unless he was just faking it, but it just seems so like convincing, you know what I mean? The only reason I designed him that way is to make him more palatable to the general public. You know, the general public is very robophobic. It seems you have an attachment to this android, Mr. Yan. After all, you refer to it as he. I always get kind of attached to whatever trinkets I make. Hell, I have a walking toaster at home called Yui. Mm. She's a little troublemaker. She's creepy as hell. <laughs> you... What? Actually, never mind. Mm. I don't think I want to know <laughs> You don't. I didn't want to reveal how much of a weirdo I am, but at least it got him to stop questioning me about Ko's design. In any case, thank you for your work today. It was insightful. Give me a moment. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Hello, Kaoru! Tired of being in front of the cameras all day? Um, what was that? Oh, all right. I'll be there in a few minutes. I'm sorry, Mr. Yon, but our little investigation ends here. I've got something to attend to. Thanks. It's fine. There's not much else to inspect around here anyways. Thanks for letting me inside in the first place. No problem at all. In fact, I wouldn't mind assisting you with such things in the future, as long as you assist me too. I'm kind of sick of this guy, <laughs> but if the information, but if it gets me information, I'll do it. Yeah, all right. See you later. But the chat's not sick of him. We want to see more of the handsome police guy. Let me escort you outside. Can we see Kauru again? Outside. <laughs> oh, she's calling me again. Yes, Kauru. I said I'll be there. Oh, you're getting quite impatient these days. Give me a moment. Well, Mr. Yon, I'll be off now. If you ever want a job at the police station, give me a call. Though it's best if you stop working for suspicious clients if you want a clean record before joining. <laughs> I will have to put you in jail for like 20 years, but after that year, you're welcome to have the job. You're a clever man and you'd be a great help if you assisted us. Your presence would definitely streamline this investigation. I'll right. pass. Alright then, shall we exchange contacts to keep in touch? Oh my god, you're asking for my number? Well, like, this is all just, this is all moving so fast, but I, I guess so, I guess so, you know, if you want to maybe go to, maybe go to all Olive Garden later, Mr. Marita, it'd be, it'd be cool. I mean, just to talk about the investigation, obviously, Apaka. Thank you, Ari. I'll give a hint. The Girl Co. was designed after, is in the beginning of the first episode. Oh, oh, that girl. It did look like her, now that I think about it. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot about that, that she there was like a dead girl at the beginning <laughs> of uh, the playthrough. Interesting. Sure. sure, here's my number. From what I deduced. I didn't expect you to give me your number so easily. It must be a burner phone. He's not wrong. Well, thank you anyways. As for me, I'll give you my business card. All right, I'll let you know if I find anything. <laughs> I'll do the same as well. Don't cause any trouble while I'm gone. <laughs> Whoa, finally got him off my back. I'll admit that he's pretty helpful, <laughs> and pretty, but I'd much rather have investigated this place alone. Um, what's this? It looks like Marita dropped something. Woo! We're taking out his card. Do something sketchy. Wait, this looks familiar. This card? Why does he have this? Hmm. 
Of all the things that could have happened today, this is the last thing I would have expected. I can't believe that a trace of her still remains today, six years later, but how? Oh, that girl, did, I guess. Did he know about her too? Hmm. Who is this mysterious girl? And why did she die? I assume it has something to do with the Yakuza, right? Probably? Oh, cute! On the outro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the volume, though. Because I have gotten so many copyright claims recently. Maybe, like, right here is safe. Oh, yeah, this is definitely copyrighted. Nope, we're going mute! Ah, oh, cute, though! Kind of cool to see everybody. <laughs> He's got such bags. Oh, yeah, even the people from the killing game, too. <laughs> Are you borrowing? Borrowing the Aussie, pl Aussie puppet? Aussie puppet? Aw, cute. Heh. <laughs> uh. Sachu, I think that's his name, the guy with the hat. The boyfriends, I mean the besties. I like the art style too, it's cute. It's like an anime outro. Oh, that's the girl. The secret girl. It's connected to all of this somehow. I don't know if I recognize any of those. I'll definitely have to watch, I guess, the trailers too, since it does seem like there's some lore I'm missing. Special thanks to all the friends we made along the way. Oh, that's cute. She does look like Ko a good bit. Hmm. Was they were like friends a long time ago or something? Is that why she joined the Yakuza in the first place? Or became like a hitman for them or whatever, maybe? Huh, interesting. Interesting! That was a good fan again, though. I'm definitely really enjoying it so far. I like that, yeah, they kind of have, like, you can see what's going on in the outside world as well as, like, what's happening in the killing game because that definitely makes it a bit more unique, you know what I mean? Um, I've definitely, I don't, I've never seen a Danganronpa game do that before, so it's super cool. Uh, should we just watch all of the trailers? Um, let's see, how many are there? There's, oh, wait, let me turn the volume back up, too. I've been hit, getting hit by so many copyright claims recently. I'm just like, I just, I really don't want to, uh, oh my God, she's there. Yes. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, that's the girl version or like the girl too that, um, Ko is based off of looks like. We can just go in order then and watch all the trailers, I guess. Cause there's just like four of them, I guess. It's a preview. I guess we probably don't need that one as much. Okay. We'll do this one first. You've already heard about that homicide case that's all over the news, right? That poor girl. She was so young. Hanukkah. She was just a high school student. I heard the police barely found evidence about the unknown girl. Wasn't her death really weird? It wasn't her death. someone would do such a horrible thing. No name. No records. Kazuna. <laughs> Who was she? Hmm. No records. Weird. Huh. The body was discovered around 8.35 a.m. in the woods. No external wounds except for a gunshot to the, the head. Sign. Asagiri. The actual time of death may have been several days prior, but that's all we know. The culprit left no evidence behind besides the body. Such a strange case. Yet the victim is stranger. She doesn't seem to be in any birth registry. As if she'd never existed until now. And she yet had did no she form of identification her. on her. Well, except for. Oh, so you like tattoos from the Yakuza? It's weird, mm. isn't it? How this entire mess all began because of one singular event. Everybody's desperately searching for the answer that only I okay, know. Okay, bunch of new people. But the dead don't tell tales. So let me ask you instead. Tell me, do you know? Who killed me? Oh, that's her. 
Interesting. Danganronpa. Heartless deceit. Hmm. Interesting. I want to go back and look at those police reports, too, because I feel like that's really important. I think um, with these trailers, oh, I kind of want to... I think I want to watch through these once without pausing, just so we can kind of get, like, the whole feel for it, and then go back and, like, read all this stuff and kind of, like, um, actually, uh, you know, analyze it a bit more afterwards. Oh, but it is Persona 4 music. Oh, my God. I was like, it does sound familiar. I was like, where's that from? Mystery of the Century. An unknown high school girl's body found in the woods. Serious murder, shocks, unknown girl, Hanako. High school girl who was shot to death a few days ago. It does seem like she was probably a part of the Yakuza. Because that was where the tattoos came from. Yeah, identifying Mark's tattoo. Hair black, eyes red. Um, age unknown. I guess the date and stuff isn't important. For a forest in Tokyo. <laughs> Place of occurrence. Murder. Unknown name. I guess they just gave her the name Hanako. The expired was found in XXX Forest by blah, blah, blah at XXAM. She was shot in the head. No other injuries were found on the body. Resting on the tree, there seems to be no signs of struggle. Or she was shot while unconscious. This expired has a Yakuza tattoo on her body. This seems to be the only connection she has to anyone, as she cannot be found in any birth registry. That's so strange. I'm trying to think of, like... I guess she was just, like, born into the Yakuza, but I'm not really sure why they would, like, hide her death. You know what I mean? What will the police do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. And, yeah, there was a bunch of new people, too. It seemed like they were going to be introduced in the other trailer, so I guess we can look at that. Interesting. Oh, uh, yes, I can see my bae. My wife. <laughs> Kauru. Oh, wait, let me... Double check that that's going to be HD. Okay, we can go ahead and uh, start. Well, try to. So, you want to know about the Himura clan? You asked the worst person about this. He's definitely going to glamorize it. <laughs> I promise I'll be honest. Right. Where should I begin? The Himura hmm. clan was one of the most powerful and feared Yakuza. Is it the same? Sorry, I said I wasn't going to pause. But I was like, wait, isn't that the same? Is that the same The same symbols that um, Denshi had in his room? I guess I could, like, go back and look at that. But I feel like, is that the case? Am I to Lulu right now? I feel like just the fact that he, like, pointed that out so, like, strongly makes me kind of wonder if that's the case. You know what I mean? I guess it might be, like, a little hard to find it. It's here, right? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I'm just a Lulu. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It's not the same. Organizations in all of Japan. Even those who'd never dabble with the underworld have heard whispers of its prominence. And those who are a part of it can only pray that they never end up on their bad side. Whether it be business, entertainment, or a display of sheer strength. Okay. Himura dominated them all. Like one for each division. Okay, maybe I will just pause. <laughs> I can't help it. Pausing's just in my blood. Their presence could be felt in virtually every place imaginable. Because of this, the Himura clan is deeply okay. in the very foundations of our society today. You could even say they govern hmm. Japan behind the scenes. Their chairman must have been an amazing guy, huh? Pretty. Wipe that smug look off your face before I wipe it off for you. <laughs> However, ever since. Wait, is that? <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to remember. I don't. Is that her brother? That's not her brother, is it? He kind of looks like her brother, but I think her brother had like blue eyes or like different colored eyes. However, ever since that incident, their power has been declining. Their numbers dwindled by tens of thousands. And all of their fame and glory is only a thing of the past. Now, they just lurk in the shadows. The girl is really pretty. The day they can crawl out of the darkness. He does look kind of similar, though, with the way he wears his hair. It's almost like, I don't know, exactly kind of how Akira wears her hair. Like the side pony. The clan's remaining members would call it a tragedy. But most citizens of Japan rejoice for the Yakuza's downfall. After all, they're supposed to be the bad guys. Right? <laughs> right? But we're not, you just haven't heard our trauma dump yet. <laughs> and today, we have a rare opportunity to speak to the chief superintendent 
of the Criminal oh, Affairs yes. Bureau. Oh my god, Queen. Miss Karu Yasunaga. Yes! I know you've already slayed, girl. I don't even have to tell you to do it. Miss Yasunaga, please give us a statement about your work. We all love you so much. <laughs> we just love you so much, Queen. I'm simply doing my job. You don't need to praise me over these matters. <laughs> Will you sign my chest after this interview? <laughs> Such a humble individual. Though there are a few people who are skeptical that the police aren't doing enough to protect our country. And they've taken it upon themselves to hunt down criminals. <laughs> she say yes, Unaga. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> ah, those self-proclaimed upholders of justice. While I do commend their efforts, they're only causing needless unrest in society. Ah, uh, you just know she's evil. <laughs> yes, queen. They should leave the job to us experts. Give us nothing. More experienced in handling situations like this. I don't know. It just kind of seems like the police. Uh, it seems like it's been pretty implied that they don't do very much. You know what I mean? Like also there was like that article where it was like, are the police going to do anything? <laughs> or like, what are the police going to do about it? I feel like that was kind of implying that they don't really do that much. I feel like they're definitely like corrupt. And um, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. Denshi seemed very critical of them, too. And That's why he's got to, you know, <laughs> so he's got to go online and expose people. What about the Yakuza? Your effort in cracking down upon them is simply remarkable. The crime rate has dropped significantly ever since you stepped in. I strongly believe that pests like them should not be tolerated any longer. And instead, they should be exterminated swiftly. Soon, the police will cleanse Japan from such criminals so that people may live in peace. I, Kaoru Yasunaga, <laughs> will uphold the law and assure you, citizens of Japan, justice will prevail. Oh, she's so evil. <laughs> I love just the cleavage hanging out. <laughs> Is that a part of the uniform code, girly? <laughs> she's like, no, I must slay. I must serve as I serve this country. <laughs> Oh my god, they have to be exterminated? She is all on that light Yagami shit. Oh man, no parole! Beautiful and hard work. Oh, it is, oh, he is the same guy. Okay, he is the same guy we saw in Akira's Dream and then also earlier in the video. I want to go back and look at them, right? That's the same guy, right? They look pretty, well, they look pretty similar. But those fancy words don't change the fact that the police are utterly incompetent. They think they solved that mystery case, hm. and the public are just eating it up. Now, now, it's not their fault they're idiots. Mm. I don't know, I feel like more like they're covering it up, you know what I mean? I don't think she's stupid, I just think she's evil. After all, no one knows the truth behind that incident. And now, nobody ever will. Besides you, mm. right? Oh, what the? Is that is that Ko? Or is that? Besides you, right? The girl he was based off of. I think it's Ko. I think so because of the outfit, right? Right? It, right? I was also be saying too, like um, these guys that we saw earlier, the Yakuza people. They all do kind of look like people in the Killing Game. Maybe they're like related to them or something. Because he definitely looks like the buff guy. Um, I feel like they kind of look like maybe somebody related to the puppet person. I don't know about her. Maybe the pop star, Cho. She's really pretty. <laughs> and then, of course, he looks kind of similar to Akira. Hmm. The Himura clan is deeply rooted. They do look pretty foundation. similar, though. Maybe they're like parents or something. But then, like, I don't know. Parents, siblings, aunts, cousins. I don't know. <laughs> something like that. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. What about this girl? We didn't see her again, I right? I promise I'll be honest. Okay. The red short hair. I don't see her. I don't know if we really see her at all. Huh, interesting. The guy in the back could be Takeshi's dad. Yeah, I could see that for sure. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I like the lore for this game so far. It's kind of interesting how uh, connected it is to the Yakuza and stuff. Uh, I just love my police, babe. Oh, queen. Oh, has never done anything wrong in her entire life. It would be kind of funny. I feel like she's probably just evil, but it would be kind of funny if she was just stupid. <laughs> just like, it truly is. Yes, girl, give us nothing. <laughs> just, 
Just strike a pose. Just serve. Serve him. Serve while you serve. Oh, man. Thank you. Big chunk of Sora. When criminals rob a bank, they have to stand off with the police, and their only demand is that you send hot mommy cop. That's what I would demand. I feel like as I'm, like, dropping somewhere, I'd be like, send, send the hot woman. <laughs> that is the only thing. The, oh, my only demand. Oh, man. Thank you for the dono. Institute. Oh! Renowned organization. I knew she was gonna be hot. Somebody was like, oh, I think she's 70, but she's still hot. She's still hot. <laughs> that was established. Okay, uh, let me rewind it. I want to, like, kind of appreciate the animation some more, too, because that looked really good. <laughs> EOS Institute. A renowned organization oh, that yeah. was established to encourage the youth in Japan. She is the one the statue's based off of, too, the statue. To hone their talents and become the best of the best. We provide them with all the technical and financial... <laughs> and tons of statues of me <laughs> slaying as I do. ...support that they would need to be the greatest at what they do. However, these awards are only granted to those who are undoubtedly the best at their talent. The Ultimates. This year, we have scouted out 16 talented... I love how she's like, everything they'll need. They'll never need to leave, ever. Oh uh, yeah, she is 71. <laughs> she is still really hot, Individual. though. I knew she would be. I was like, even if she is like 70, they're going to make her hot somehow. You may have already heard of quite a few of them, as we have the internet sensation, Akira Hayasaka, joining us at our ceremony. Along with her, another familiar face has been selected too, Cho Siri. Okay. The pride and joy of Japanese pop music. Japanese pop music. I like the way she talks. From the colorful imagination of storytellers, of all sorts of media, to the skill displayed in those in sports and martial arts. <laughs> we have a wide variety of awardees joining us this time. She's got that perfect, like, uh, I don't know, like an announcer, kind of like infomercial voice. From a wide variety of people, from sports to entertainment. Likewise, Students who have displayed expertise in both the sciences and the humanities have Won't you please donate to our school? Been scouted too. Even the angels of Japan. Uh, angels. Known by all <laughs> for their way. feats in bettering our hey, nation. Baby. <laughs> have been selected as ultimates to continue their service to society. These talented youth uh, are Jimmy. quite She's passionate in their work. Which especially applies to the Queen of Fashion and the King of the Hall. We have also selected a few individuals whose skills may seem peculiar at first. But I firmly believe that there is value in every type of talent. However, the excitement does not end there. Izanami Hoshimiya? Befitting oh. a majestic young lady as herself. Okay, she gets her own specific intro. Oh my god. For real? Yeah. Befitting a majestic young lady as herself. She has been awarded an elite talent. Is she god? Like, what? Is she, we're not gonna say what her talent is, but she's the goddess of creation. She is God. We're also gonna give her this like God-like imagery. A talent that has only ever been awarded once. Oh. That's right. It's the... <laughs> what the fuck? What a stupid concept. Izanami is so fucking sketchy! <laughs> oh my and god. done. Oh, yeah. trial grounds. That's cool. Finally. All the preparations have been completed. Oh my goodness. Even though I never wanted this to happen, I must fulfill my role as the overseer of the killing game. Everyone, please stay safe. <laughs> I wish you luck. 
<laughs> just a little guy. I love Ko, but I do feel like it's going to be a little funny when he's like, I wish you luck. I don't want any of you to die. Also, I have your brother kidnapped <laughs> and dangling over, over a pot of lava. And if you don't kill somebody, I will drop him at this moment. But like, I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry. It's not, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> and thank you. Um, Ari, she's not mommy. Sorry. She is grandma. Sorry. More like grandmommy. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate you. God, this is going to be like the most simping we've ever done in a stream. <laughs> okay. Video make and clean. Flashing images. Okay. I kind of have to be careful about that sometimes, to be totally honest. So I might look away. <laughs> this story begins with the death of a young girl. Oh, notification. The truth death. of which has been lost oh, to time. No. But now, that mystery will finally come to light. Let the killing game begin. Oh, who's that? I don't like violence either. But there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> I love him. Uh, he's the best boy. He's awesome. That Those flowers that girl was next to, I'm pretty sure they symbolize death or something like that. The goddess of creation. I cannot get over that. What is up with her, man? I'm trying to think of like what kind of talent would be so, like, I don't know, special. She's the ultimate hope. But ultimate internet sensation. Hitman. Oh, nice. Hey, Slay Reserve. I like this music. Everyone, do your best to solve this mystery. Oh, because it, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it's Satori, you're looking kind of creepy there for a second. Oh man, I'll have to go through these and read them. I saw this mystery. Something about I've solved this case. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, wow, look at that. This killing game. The counter. It is most unfortunate for the 16 of you. It, but its effects can be felt oh, outside the walls the? of the ceremony, too. Okay. What do you mean you can't locate Kumiko Arase? First, the ultimate award ceremony gets hijacked. The Ultimates get kidnapped, and now the founder of EOS <laughs> is missing too? Now the grandmommy's missing? How could something like this happen to such a prestigious institute? I bet it's Sayakuza again. It's always them. They were behind that murder Kira. case years ago too, right? Okay, of course. Like Most of the tweets are about like Akira or Cho, the famous ones. Rumors are deadly, aren't they, you say? What you say? That was Aaron doing years ago. And this time, it'll destroy what little of us there remains. Okay, rumors are what killed them? I guess, like, is, like, her person, like, I don't know, the girl who died? Like, it does kind of feel like she's still alive in a way. She, like, lives on through Ko in a way? I don't know. It's just, like, I guess, like, she's obviously, she obviously died, but, like, I mean, just the fact that they keep having her, like, talk and stuff in these trailers makes me think, like, she's somehow still around. Come on, Yuki. I know, don't blame the Yakuza. What's up with all this Yakuza phobia? Hey, have some faith in them. The Himura clan is going to make a comeback soon. I'm sure of it. After all, my little brother is all grown up now, and he won't give up easily. Isn't that right, Ryuji? Oh. Besides, you're not alone. You've got the most exceptional lieutenants by your side. Okay, so that's Ryuji. So I guess the other guy is the one who died. Average, cutthroat, dragon the new dawn, sly sweetheart, tenacious, pa pacifism. I did not expect him to be pacifism. And that little hacker? He's not giving up either. So you're telling oh my God. me that a world-class hacker <sighs> is investigating this case too, Asal? Queen. What would they gain from this? And more importantly, who is the one behind this killing Even though they're both evil, probably. I was too late. I'm sorry. Please don't go. Akira I... saying this? I'm sorry. This animation's no. really nice. Okay, wow, gosh. 
I gotta say the production of this is so good. It really looks like, I don't know, it could be like an actual, I guess it's not really a game, it's more of like a video series, but like, uh, it looks just like so, like it looks professionally made, you know what I mean? Like, dang, this animation looks so good. So annoying, these sheep will never think for themselves. They eat up any spicy rumor they hear. I kind of wanted to go back, um, you know, look at <laughs> look at this uh, screenshot yet again. You know, maybe a uh, print screen. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, she's so fine. But what was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah, I wanted to go back at some of these other things. Oh, yeah, I kind of want to look at some of this because there were so many words that came across the screen. The flashing wasn't too bad. I feel like it's only, I don't know how it affects other people, but like the strobe lights or things like that only really affect me if it's like really like, I don't know, like super intense. You know what I mean? I know high school girl's body found in the woods. No identification. Okay. Yeah. She's talking about her shot to death. Please really, <laughs> police didn't do jack shit. They were too busy going to get manicures and get their skincare routine more fleshed out. That's why they look so good. Murder case ever solved, an unmotive, involvement of the Yakuza. I think the police lied about solving it. Solved, an unmotive, as if she never existed. The body left in the woods. Woods, woods. I want to kind of look at the tweets, too. I think that was the main other thing I wanted to look at. Oh, yeah, actually, I want to look at this stuff. Well, there are any. <laughs> Jimmy, just back there, getting some KFP. Are there any options here besides the arcade? But the arcade has, let me... If I slow it down or something, kind of see more about what's going on. Options here besides the arcade, but the arcade has some good games too. You seriously don't think being buddy buddy with everyone will magically prevent a murder, do you? Ugh, oh, it's still serving. Telling everybody the truth about the situation. And thank you, Kuro Yuta. Almost forgot. Happy birthday, Weeby. Oh, thank you so much. You know, it just, it feels good to have representation for people my age too with, um, what was her name? The old lady. <laughs> the grandmommy. Kurita? Kurwite? I don't know. It just feels good, you know, to have some elderly representation in a dog and rompa game. Everyone, please do your best to solve this mystery. I wish you luck. Crap, man, it goes by so fast. You slow it down even more. Solve this mystery. I wish you luck. They got super. They got super lucky that no one was around. Broken vase. Maybe we should look over something. God, I gotta slow down to fifty percent. <laughs> Seriously, that makes no sense. I'm still missing stuff. Oh, yeah. I was like, what is up with this creepy ass sprite, bro? <laughs> Bertamoya, can I move seeds? Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've solved this case. <laughs> okay, I think you're the first culprit. I wonder if this is even like a, um, oh my God, this girl really has to have two statues. Back to back, girl. It's the same statue. Do you really need two of them right next to each other? Girl. Are you, are you for real? Are you for real right now? Are you for real? Oh my gosh. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I wonder if this is actually chapter one or not. Because I feel like it, you could maybe potentially deduce who's the victim based off of if he's actually in the trial. Because I was like honestly thinking Tamoya might be the first one. But he's in this trial, so maybe he stands a chance. Let's see if you can back your claims up with strong evidence. Oh yeah, it's going to be like the cross swords. That's cool. There's one piece of evidence that would fit. So it makes sense the culprit used the face to kill them with the one below. This could just be like a trial kind of thing. A trial trial. <laughs> a trial of the trial. Man, it looks so nice. It looks so clean, though. Okay, I think that was kind of the main part I wanted to look at besides, um... Yeah, the tweets. <laughs> but it's the Yakuza again. It's always them. This is so messed up. Nobody better hurt Akira or else. They were in that murder case years ago too, right? Y'all better pray for Churisa right now. LMAO, why can't the police arrest these motherfuckers already? Is it is it just me or the android look kind of familiar? Hey, you're kind of piecing it together, random, uh, random citizen. Okay, interesting. I think that might be the last trailer. Also, who, yeah, who's this other girl? Um, showed up, I guess she showed up in the other one, the... Yeah, the pretty, the pretty girl. <laughs> but, like, everybody in this is pretty. But, um, yeah, she was in the girl in the thumbnail. I think she was, which one did she show up in this one? Which trailer did she show up in? Well, I can't really seem to find her. I mean, like, grandmommy again, I guess. 
<laughs> Thank you, Ari. Oh my god, her hands on both. To state there were two ways. She <laughs> That was the symbolism that Kumiko was trying to go with. <laughs> right next to each other, just so she knows. Just so you know that she slays in both ways. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Oh, I love that she had to, <laughs> she had to specify just so we would know, just so we would know. Was she at the end, maybe? Is that where it was? I don't know. I can't find her again. But the pretty girl in, in the thumbnail of that other, I think it's the thumbnail of this trailer. But anyways, I guess this will conclude uh, the stream. I don't know if there's really too much else to look at, but um, yeah, interesting interesting it's been really enjoyable so far i'm definitely gonna be looking forward to more updates for this fan gan it's definitely pretty i don't know pretty up there for the fan gans that i think i'm looking forward to the most for getting updates with i feel like the cast is really good i feel like um it's definitely doing stuff to kind of make it like unique as well and uh, the art of course the art and animation is just gorgeous but um yeah for me i just characters are everything and i love this cast so much they gotta be up there with like I don't know some of my top favorite casts so far like uh to spare time and like uh Danganronpa and others so I'm really I'm excited I'm looking forward to seeing updates and I highly recommend you guys check out their channel send them some love um you can also they also have like a discord and stuff that I think they post updates and I'm sure they'll kind of update more as they release more episodes but um I assume it might It'd probably take a while to get more updates since uh like I said this project is just so high quality. I imagine it's got to take a lot of, a lot of time and effort to make these videos and stuff. But, uh, thanks guys for stopping by. Um, I will be streaming again on Saturday. We're going to be finishing up a uh, process of elimination, which I am excited for. I'm super excited for that. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate all the support on the channel recently and hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. Bye. And of course there is the outro. I always say bye before the outro. Okay, thanks guys for stopping by.